What if Goku was born with Cumber's Chi? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? Far in the galaxy on Universe 7 lived a Saiyan who was known as to have corrupted Ki within him and was also known to be a corrupted Saiyan. His name was Cumber. Cumber wasn't your ordinary Saiyan. He was a Saiyan that possessed such a powerful Ki which is called Corrupted Ki. Cumber was able to get this Ki through his own way and he's the only Saiyan to ever possess such power as he was a threat to anyone that fought him until one fateful day Cumber lost a deadly battle with Hart and he ended up being locked up in a planet called Planet Prison. Hart was able to take some of Cumber's key which he has put aside in a syringe to use it for his own on a raining day you can say if anything gets wrong he'll insert that key within himself and be able to go and beat anyone that tries to fight him but one day that key got stolen as he couldn't find where that syringe went as he began to panic on what happened with that syringe but it was long gone. One day Bardock the father of Goku just got the news of the birth of his new child and he decided to name him Kakara. but he was also informed that Kakara was born with a power level of just 5 as he was shocked and worried that his son was born so weak compared to his other son Radis and he was also wondering what he can do since the entire planet is laughing at him due to the fact that his son is very weak but he was ordered by Frieza to go and encounter one planet. When Barda got there he decided not to follow Frieza's order instead he went and helped this planet out as the elderly from this planet decided to thank Bardock and to do so they gave Bardock a syringe which they kept in their planet for a very long time and this syringe was a special syringe that possessed immune power. It was also the same syringe that Hart managed to take out from Cumber's body which is his key. Bardock then decided to go and take this gift and use it on his son Kakra so that he wouldn't be such a weak Saiyan as he returned right back to planet Vegeta but he saw Frieza's men were already there as Bardock knew why they came and said I see Frieza's here looks like he is going to wipe all of us out that bastard I knew one day this would happen but not if I can help it Bardock saw the syringe and he was attempted to use it so he can stop Frieza but he thought of having his son be the one to take it so he can be the one to save the Saiyan race with that Bardock then immediately made his way towards Goku as he saw that Goku was out of his nursing capsule and with that Frieza's men began to go and attack the Saiyans. Gine was very scared but Bardock quickly took Goku and he gave him the syringe as Goku's body went to a shock and from there Goku began to scream as his body began to glow and he began to have some evil aura pouring out of Goku's body. With that one of Frieza's best men Dodoria came as he was killing some of the Saiyans but when he detected high power level coming from his scouter he saw it was Goku as Goku was powering up and from there he decided to go and kill him. Before Dodoria can do anything Goku got right to his senses as Goku went and he instantly came right in front of Dodoria and he killed him with just one blast. Zarbon saw that as he was shocked on seeing what he had saw and he immediately went and told Frieza about what happened to Dodoria but Goku after killing Dodoria passed out since he is just a baby he couldn't handle that much pressure at once. Bardock was very shocked to see what he had witnessed and right there he knew Goku would be the one to avenge them all. He went and set a course on his spacebot to go to a planet known as Earth and send Goku away so that he can stop Frieza but if he fails to do so his son Goku will be the one to avenge him and everyone else. As Goku's space pod went and it made its way towards planet earth while Frieza went and he destroyed the planet with his blast. Goku was the only survival from that planet as his space pod began making his way towards planet earth. 
After a long journey, Goku has finally reached planet Earth, where his space bot has crash landed on Ox King's palace. With that, the Ox King has come out to see what was going on and saw Goku was on the ground next to his crashed space bot. Ox King began to freak out, but Goku wasn't in his right state of mind. He was very aggressive and angry since he didn't have any control over his corrupted key. After all, he just took in such an evil key within him. With that, Ox King couldn't help Goku, so he decided to go and get some help as he called his master, Master Roshi, to help him out along with his friend Grandpa Gohan. From there, Master Roshi was having trouble to handle Goku since he was a very aggressive child and he ended up attacking Grandpa Gohan, which resulted in him killing him, but no one ever told Goku that he was the one that killed Grandpa Gohan. Roshi then went and used some force on Goku as he attacked him with a Kamehameha wave and it got Goku to be sent flying and he hit his head hard on a rock as he ended up going into a coma. With that, Goku has now recovered after a few weeks, but everyone saw that he was completely calm. They were amazed at seeing that as they decided to go and give him the name Goku, and with that, they decided to do everything they can to protect Goku and never let him know the day comes where he is the one who killed Grandpa Gohan. Seeing that Goku became a very calm child, Ox King took him back to his palace, and from there Goku continued to live his life with Ox King as him and Chi Chi became very good friends and Chi Chi decided to be a fighter like Goku and they would spar every day training with one another while she has a crush for Goku. And as you know it, a few years has passed since Goku has arrived on planet earth. But before that happened, back on the evil planet known as planet prison, Cumber the evil Saiyan was all chained up but he could sense that Goku was using his corrupted key and said, <laughs> well well. It would appear that another Saiyan is able to have corrupted key. This will be interesting. Let's see what this peak squeak can do with my power. <laughs> While that was happening, Frieza's man has regrouped with him as they managed to take Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz to be his pet. And from there, Zarbon came to him and said, My lord, what are we going to do with the Saiyan that killed the Doria? Huh? Nothing really, Zarbon. He has been long gone, and I'm sure he has died with the planet. But my lord, we should still be on the lookout. After all, I have a gut feeling he's still out there. Zarban, we have three Saiyans with us. We could use one of those Saiyans. Let's see, Vegeta. He could be the one to be our pet. Vegeta? Yes, my lord. What can I do for you? How would you like to be the commander of my army? Are you serious? Yes, yes, let's do that, Vegeta. In return, I'll make you the strongest warrior in my army, but you have to always be loyal towards me and help me find this evil Saiyan. As Vegeta liked the idea that Freeze has already promoted him to become one of his commander, and as you know it, 10 years has passed. Goku has now grown to a 10 year old boy, and from there, he went and he continued his training with Master Roshi as he met with Krillin and now it was time for them to enter something called the World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku has entered along with everyone else, even including Chi Chi. Chi Chi went and she managed to beat Krillin while Goku made his way towards the finals and from there he exchanged blow with Jackie Chung who was also Master Roshi. Jackie Chung went and he tried to use his lightning flash attack on Goku but Goku didn't feel that blast coming near him as it was nothing to him and with that, Goku went and he powered up his corrupted key which was enough to get Master Roshi Daisy and he striked him down as he has won the World Martial Arts Tournament. With that, everyone was amazed with Goku's power but Master Roshi was shocked to see that Goku continued to grow at a very high pace and his key is getting out of hand. He then suggested Goku to go to Korin's tower and meet with Korin so he can help Goku with his power but before doing so, he gave Goku one task. He told Goku about the Red Ribbon Army and told him that they need to be wiped out since they are an evil organization. And with that, Goku went and made his way towards their base and he managed to get them disbanded. Once when Goku did that, he finished his job that Master Roshi told him to do and he went and made his way towards Korin's tower, as Korin was shocked to see Goku for the very first time. While that was happening, back at Frieza's world, Frieza's men were working on finding some power level that is corrupted you can say or something that will give them signs to show where Goku is 
since Tarbon was the one who was low-key doing this investigation because he wanted to avenge the Doria and bring Goku's head to Frieza and from there they said, My lord, we picked up something on a planet called Earth. I believe that is where we found this power. Is that so? Show me it please. Planet Earth you say, huh? Looks like I'll have to go check it out myself. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has now arrived to Korin's tower. As Korin was shocked to see Goku's ki was very powerful but yet, his heart was pure as the sky. As he didn't know why Goku was this way so he suggested Goku to go and see the Earth Guardian, no one other than Kami. Goku then accepted that offer as he went to the lookout where he has met with Kami. Kami was also shocked to see Goku's power and from there, he decided to go and use a Dragon Ball since he didn't have the answer to why Goku has such evil ki and from there, he has summoned Shenron. Upon summoning Shenron, he then asked Shenron about why Goku is the way he is and Shenron said, he is born with something called Corrupted Ki. Turns out it was originally given to his father, but his father passed it down to him. Upon hearing that got Goku to be really shocked along with Kami, as they decided to do some investigation on Goku and they found out that Goku is a Saiyan from a planet called Planet Vegeta, but he was not supposed to tell no one that he is from Planet Vegeta. This is something he needs to keep to himself. Kami then offered Goku to train with him as he would help him accept his power and try to do everything he can to utilize it so Goku can be expert in using it. Goku has accepted his offer and now one year has passed but Goku had to stop his training and told Kami that he wanted to attend the World Martial Arts Tournament so he can see his friends. Kami allowed Goku to go as Goku went and he entered the tournament and with that he managed to make his way towards the finals and without knowing. King Piccolo was released from his shell as he was in a search for the Dragon Ball so he can wish to become young again and kill all the world martial artists. Goku on the other hand has made to the finals as he went and fought with Tien Shenhan but Tien Shenhan tried to do everything he can to take Goku down but Goku managed to go and one shot him and he won the tournament yet again. Everyone was impressed with Goku's power but before they can celebrate Chi Chi got hit by a beam attack as it pierced right through her flesh. With that she passed out. Goku saw that as he got very angry and he couldn't believe what he saw and when he turned around he saw it was no one other than King Piccolo. <laughs> That's one down, now the rest to go. Uh, I know who you are! You're King Piccolo! You hurt my friends! For that I'll kill you! Pipe down there Pixweek! Before Piccolo can say another word, Goku lost his senses as he was taken over by rage and now he has used what you can call his corrupted form. I will kill you where you stand! As Goku didn't waste any time and with that he charged right towards King Piccolo and he once shot him as he managed to pierce right through his stomach and from there before dying King Piccolo spat out an egg and he died right there. Goku then took Chi Chi and he ran right towards Korin's tower and he asked him to give her a sense of being as he did and now she was recovered and he was very happy that she was okay. With that he went right back to Kami's world and he continued to train and as you know it 5 years has passed as Goku has now become a teenage and his power has increased a lot since he had the ability to get stronger with each training session. After 5 years, Kami then looked towards Goku and said, Listen up Goku, there's something you need to know. You must stop King Piccolo. He's alive and he goes by the name Piccolo. And if you don't stop him, you know what would happen. Just leave it to me Kami, I'll make sure I stop him. As Goku went and he made his way to the World Martial Arts Tournament yet again. As everyone had a reunion with another and they couldn't believe just how much everyone has grown. 
Goku was very happy to see Krillin and everyone else, but he was more happy to see Chi Chi. Uh, she was extremely happy to see Goku, and both of them confessed their love for one another. Since they both grow up in the same household, Chi Chi did have a lot of feelings for Goku, and they decide to get married with one another after the tournament is done. With that, Goku then went and he confronted Piccolo since he also joined the tournament, but before anything can happen, Goku sensed a huge power coming right towards planet Earth and said, Whoa! What is that? Before he can do anything, they saw it was a very strong warrior who has now arrived right next to Goku. Well, well, so isn't this the place where the one that killed Dodoria lived, huh? Who are you? And what are you doing in my world? You are the one who was the Saiyan that killed the Doria, huh? I'm the one? What are you talking about? Don't act naive. I remember you. That hairstyle is the same one that the baby had when he killed the Doria. And because of that, I'm going to end your life and take your dead body to Frieza. Seeing that I killed you, he'll give me a huge reward. Frieza, who is that? He is the ruler of this universe, and since you killed one of his best men, it is my responsibility to avenge him and kill you. Is that so? Well, how about this? I give you a chance to live. Leave from this planet and never come again. Trust me, you don't want any of this. Ha! <laughs> you are so naive. I definitely want whatever you got to offer. I'm here to kill you and that's what I'm going to do. Now die! As Sarba went and he rushed right at Goku and striked him right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. Goku then managed to stop himself as he saw that Zarban came right towards him and he tried to hit him but this time Goku blocked it as he went and decked Zarban right in his face and with that, both of them were going at it as they're landing blow to blow with one another. <laughs> Goku then went and kicked Zarban in his stomach. As Zarban got up and he smiled and said, I'm impressed you have gotten this strong. It is time I use more power and bring your head to Lord Frieza. This Frieza person must be lazy to come fight me. That's why he sent someone as weak as you, huh? <laughs> weak? You call me weak? I'll show you! As Zarban went and he powered up his key. And with that, everyone was able to sense his power as he began to get scared. But Goku smiled and said, <laughs> You're still not strong enough to beat me. Is that so? Then let me use my transformation, Saiyan. Sarban has now used his transformation as he uses full power and it skyrocketed and said, Okay, Saiyan, now you're going to die. Zarba went and he rushed right towards Goku and striked him in his face as he followed with a kick and from there he would not let Goku have a chance to get up as he continued to hit Goku non-stop and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku on the other hand was amazed with Zarban's power and said, Now that I have seen what you got, it is my turn to end this once and for all. With that Goku went and he screamed as he began to transform. Goku has now transformed into a form known as his corrupted Super Saiyan, as his power was off the chart. Well Zarban, if that's what your name, you're ready to have a piece of this? <laughs> what the? Why is his hair gold? It doesn't make sense! Before Zarban could do anything, Goku went and he headbutt Zarban, beginning to fall straight towards the ground. That headbutt was so strong that it almost caused Zarban to be at near death and with that, Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Zarban as he killed him right there. Everyone was speechless along with Piccolo as he didn't want any part of this instead he asked Goku for a truce and even offered to be part of his team since he saw just how powerful Goku is. Chi Chi on the other hand was very happy that Goku has won the battle and from there she decided to get married with him 
as they managed to get everything arranged and now both Goku and Chi Chi has finally gotten married. While everyone's happy, Frieza on the other hand was wondering what happened to Zarbon since he didn't tell Frieza where he went and has been over a year since he left his planet and he hasn't returned yet. Seeing that Zarbon has left without telling Frieza anything got him very angry and with that he decided to label Zarbon as a traitor and to kill him if he's ever seen again. And as you know it, 5 years has passed. Within those 5 years, Goku is now an adult as him and Chi Chi enjoy their wedding life and their fighting life too. Chi Chi and Goku had a child and they decided to name him Gohan to honor Grandpa Gohan since he did die. Chi Chi wanted to make sure that Goku and her will do everything they can to make sure Gohan becomes a fighter just like both of them since this Chi Chi inside his timeline loves to fight with Goku. After all she is raised in the same household as him. And while Piccolo on the other hand wanted to spar with Goku so he could get stronger but little did they knew, three space pod are now making their way towards planet earth. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku was doing some meditation with Piccolo as he was trying to see if he can push past his limit. While Piccolo was very determined to get stronger at any cost so he can be at Goku's level. While they're busy meditating, 3 space pod has now arrived on planet earth as they have crash landed in a remote place and once when their door opened, it was no one other than Raditz, Nappa and Vegeta. We need to find out where this bastard Kakarot is. Are you sure he's in this planet Raditz? Yes, I'm sure this is a place where he, they sent him. Wait, if he has been sent here, that means he's the one that killed Zarbon too? Is that even possible? <laughs> Don't be silly Nappa. The likes of this clown can never beat someone as strong as Zarbon. Unless Vegeta, what if Kakarot could be the, you know, shh. You wish someone from your family would be that strong Raditz. There's no way that weakling Raditz can be strong enough to beat the likes of Zarbon or even be that so-called corrupted key person. And as Frieza's commander, I'll make sure we end that bastard's life. Even Kakarot's too. Now let's begin the search. As they begun using their scatter to pick up Goku's power level and also the one who supposedly killed Zarbon which they got the news that it was belonging to a corrupted key. As they began searching, Goku stopped his meditation as he could sense three high power level came to planet earth and said, hmm? I could sense it too Goku, do you want to deal with it? Well we have to deal with it anyway so let's go, let's see who came. As Goku and Piccolo began making their way towards Vegeta and the others. With that they both had bumped into each other as Vegeta smiled and said, well well if it isn't Kakarot huh? And I take it this is the place where you've been living. Looks like you haven't done your job as a Saiyan. Allow me to introduce you to myself. My name is Prince Vegeta. I am Lord Frieza's commander and the prince of all Saiyans. My name is Goku, not Kakarot. And this Frieza person you say, huh? That's the same name that Zarbon mentioned five years ago when I ended his life. Say what? You're telling me that you're the one who killed Zarbon? The likes of you? What is that supposed to mean? And as for you saying, I highly suggest you leave this planet and never return. Trust me, you'll regret if you don't. Kakarot! Are you that stupid? What happened to your Saiyan pride? If I were you, this is your final chance, brother! Brother? That is right, Raditz is your brother. And you need to show your loyalty to your prince, as we all have to show our loyalty to Frieza. <laughs> You count me out then. There's no need for that. We will kill you here and now. Me as Frieza's commander will make sure I'll end your life. Let's go Kakarot, bring it on! As Vegeta went and he powered up his key and with that, he rushed at Goku and strike him right in his stomach. But Goku managed to block his attack and with that, Goku reacted with a kick as he kicked Vegeta right in his face and they got him to be sent flying. Raditz was shocked on seeing that while Piccolo and Nappa confronted one another and with that, they both went and charged towards one another 
as their power clashed with each other. Nappa then tried to go and hit Piccolo, but he dodged it, and from there he said, Heh, You'll be dying very soon, buddy! <laughs> you wish. You're too slow to even touch me. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Bring it on, green guy! I'll kill you! As Nappa went and he powered up an attack and tried to aim it at Piccolo, but Piccolo managed to go and disperse the attack. And with that, both Piccolo and Nappa were going back and forth. Vegeta was amazed by Goku's power and said, not bad, Kakarot. I can see why Zarba might have died by the likes of you, but you still don't come anywhere near my power. I train with Lord Frieza, and when it comes to Frieza, <laughs> you will die the moment you try to fight him. He has trained for over 10 years, and I was his training partner. <laughs> That's cute that you have a crush on Frieza, but right now you have to worry about what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> You're very cocky, Kakarot. Let me shut your ass up then. Behold! <laughs> Vegeta has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan and said, Well Kakarot, are you impressed with this power? After all, I am the commander of Frieza's army. Which is why I have a reputation to uphold. Now die! As Vegeta went and he rushed at Goku, and he tried to strike him in his face. While that was happening, Nappa and Piccolo were busy attacking one another, but it was an easy attack for Piccolo, since he was much stronger than Nappa, and with that, he began to body Nappa. Nappa got mad and said, There's no way a green guy like you could touch the likes of me! I'm the second strongest Saiyan! From there, he went and powered up a blast, but Piccolo went and powered up a special beam cannon and aimed it at Nappa's attack, getting his attack dispersed and with that he went and one shot Nappa down. Tch! You may be a weakling Saiyan but you're nowhere near Goku's level. I trained with him for 5 years is the reason why my power has gotten this strong. With that, Piccolo saw that Goku and Vegeta were going at it as Vegeta went and he used his Super Saiyan power and he was doing everything he can to overpower Goku and kill him. As he began to smile and say, Not bad Vegeta, but let me make sure I also use the same power too. With that, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan as Vegeta was shocked on seeing his power and said, Why does your Super Saiyan feel so unreal? <laughs> You'll find out, Mr. Commander of Frieza's army. With that, Goku went and he charged at Vegeta, and Vegeta did the same and both of the power clashed with one another, but the result didn't favor Vegeta. He got struck right in the guts, getting him to gasp for air, and with that, Goku went and he punched him down. Once when Vegeta fell down, he then got up as he was shocked to see that Goku was able to do that to him and said, How dare you touch me! You still think you can beat me, Vegeta? While they're busy fighting, two space bot has now arrived to planet Earth. As they crash landed right there and with that, once when the door opened, it was the one other them. So this is the place where I sent Kakarot, huh? I'm sure of it. After all, I am the one who sent him here. Please make sure he's here, Bardock. I'm worried for him. Kakarot, I'm coming for you, my son. Forgive me for taking this long. As they began to use their senses and they were able to see a lot of huge power levels coming from the west as they quickly went and made their way to where is that power. Turns out Bardock and Gine, the parents of Goku, have now arrived on planet Earth. And while they're making their way towards Goku and Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta are going at it until Vegeta went and he powered up a Gallic gun 
but Goku went and kicked him right in his stomach and from there he went and powered up his own Kamehameha wave and said, this is where it ends Vegeta, as he aimed the wave right towards Vegeta and he got hit head on and he passed out. Goku then looked at Raditz and said, if I were you take your friend and leave this planet or else you'll face the same fate as them. What the hell Kakarot? What are you? Before they could do anything, Bardock and Gine has now arrived, as they both saw who has arrived and for that, Raditz was extremely shocked to see that his parents were alive nevertheless and said, What? F father Is that really you? It's good to see you again, son. And Kakarot, oh my god, your power, it's amazing! Huh? Why does he look like me? As Goku went right back to his base and with that, Gine saw him and said, It's really you, my son. Kakarot. Huh? Can this be my parents? Yes, you fool! These are your parents, Kakarot! But father, how did you survive? After I sent you away to planet Earth, Kakarot, I told Gine to go take another space pod and join him, but instead she bought two. So we both left the planet, but before we can, our space pod got caught in the explosion when Frieza destroyed the planet, but we managed to crash land into another world, where we lived there for 20 years, and now once we got the technology advanced, we heard news about you, Kakarot. Your power from planet Earth has been going everywhere. How a very powerful key has arrived there, but that's not all. We also heard the death of Zarbon, and right there and then I knew that it was you, Kakarot, so me and your mother made our way to come see you. My name is Bardock, and this is Gine. We are your parents. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. As Bardock went and he hugged Goku along with Gine, and with that they offered Raditz to come th with them. Raditz was emotional to see that his parents are alive while Vegeta has now gotten up and saw what was going on and said, <laughs> You guys gonna have your disgusting reunion. I'm going back to Lord Frieza. And once when he hears about the corrupted key living on Earth, you could say bye to your planet. That's right, he's gonna come and destroy everything, and even you, Kakarot. Not even your Super Saiyan power could stand a chance against Frieza. Because what I saw, no one has seen. He has transformation that no one has ever seen before. So now it's time for you to die. As Vegeta took Nappa and he left the planet. And with that, Goku looked towards Raditz and said, It's time you tell me everything you know about Frieza. What? You're telling me you've been working with that bastard this whole time, Raditz? Yes, father, but listen. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has just discovered that his parents are alive as Raditz was also shocked to see his parents had survived and from there he decided to stay with Goku and the others and leave Vegeta and Nappa. Goku then asked Raditz to tell him everything he knows about Frieza. I really don't like Frieza, but there's not much I can tell you, he was more close to Vegeta than anyone else, and it looks like he chose Vegeta to be close to him just so he could watch him. And also, one thing I realize is our scouter here, it's not just a scouter but it's also a communicator, and therefore we can hear everything Frieza says. Well then we'll need to use it to our advantage. How could you sigh with Frieza Raditz? Father, we had no choice, we would have died, I know he's the one who killed planet Vegeta and all but... What do you want me to do if I didn't side with him? He would have killed me. <sighs> that bastard. With that, they all decided to go and regroup at Goku's place. As Goku brought everyone towards his family and with that he has introduced them to Chi Chi and Gohan along with Ox King. As they're all very shocked to see that Goku's parents are alive including his brother and that Chi Chi was surprised to see she has in-law parents while Gohan was shocked to see that he has grandpa and grandma and not to mention a uncle. Goku then told Bardock and the rest to call him Goku and not Kakarot since that is the name he's very familiar with but they can still call him Kakarot if they want since they are Saiyans. With that Bardock was still shocked that he was a grandfather now 
And while that was happening, Vegeta on the other hand has now returned right back to Frieza's world as he went and entered the healing chamber and with that he managed to go and reheal all of his wound along with Nappa. And once when they got out, Vegeta then got the news from one of Frieza's men that Frieza has summoned Vegeta to come to a planet called Planet Namek and help him gather something called the Dragon Ball. Vegeta had no idea what it is but all he knew was Frieza had summoned him so he decided to go and make his way towards Planet Namek with Nappa as they left the planet and now they have arrived to Planet Namek. Once when they arrived to Namek, Vegeta then saw that Frieza's men were carrying something which is a shape as a Dragon Ball as he had no idea what that was and from there he came towards Frieza and said, My Lord Frieza, I have returned, but there's something you need to know. On Earth there is a Saiyan that kills Zarbon, he's the same Saiyan whose name is Kakarot, who is also the corrupted key one, and I have fought him but lost. Ha, <laughs> I see, so he's trying to overtake me then huh? Well it's a good thing I came to Planet Namek, let's finish our business here and then we will go towards Earth. I'll gladly destroy that Saiyan and that planet. As they began searching for the Dragon Ball, and while that was happening, Raditz heard everything and from there he told Goku and the others that Frieza is on a planet called Planet Namek and that he is trying to get something what's called a Dragon Ball. Upon hearing that got Goku to be very serious and said, No this isn't good, if there's a set of Dragon Balls on that planet, that means Frieza or Vegeta might get their hands on that, and if they do, it is over for all of us. The only thing we can do now is go and stop them. But how can we get to Planet Namek? I don't know the coronation. With that, Goku then thought of an idea as he decided to go and summon Shenron and show everyone what the Dragon Ball is as he told Barda, Gine and Raditz about what the Dragon Ball is and when they saw Shenron, they were completely shocked and stung as they couldn't believe what they were witnessing. With that, Goku wished for everyone to be sent towards Planet Namek along with Chi Chi, Gohan and even Piccolo since they all want to come and aid Goku in his upcoming battle with Frieza as Goku is ready to go and take him down once and for all. With that, Shenron has granted his wish and next thing you know, Goku and everyone has now arrived to Planet Namek. On Planet Namek, they saw one of Frieza's men was there as he was carrying one of the Dragon Balls and with that, Piccolo went and he kicked him down and took the Dragon Ball from him. Goku then sensed where Frieza was as he can sense that Frieza is very close by and so they went and made the way to where it's Frieza. Vegeta saw that they have arrived and said, My lord, they are here, but how? So this is where you've been hiding this whole time, huh Frieza? Huh? Hiding? <laughs> how dare you say such utter garbage? I wasn't hiding, I was waiting for you to show up. And it turns out you did. I was right you'll come to me instead of me coming to you to challenge me. Isn't that right, Kakarot? So you know my name, huh? <laughs> of course you do. Your pet told you everything about me. I also know you're the one who killed Zarbon. But I find it hard to believe that you're the person who did it. Frieza! You bastard! Your way of ruling the universe coming into an end. My son will avenge all the Saiyan and end your life. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you can't even hold a candle to Lord Frieza. What do you think your son can do? I heard enough. Let's settle this once and for all, Frieza. You and me. As Goku and Frieza stared at one another, and with that, their battle has begun. Frieza won, and he charged right towards Goku. And Goku did the same thing, and both of their punch strike one another. But then Goku went and turned the table on Frieza, as he went and punched Frieza right in his jaw and kicked him in his stomach. Frieza fell to the ground as he saw that Goku was pretty strong but he went and powered up to full power and he rushed right towards Goku and he tried to hit him but Goku did the same. He dodged Frieza's head and from there he went and retaliated with a kick and a punch. Vegeta was shocked to see that Goku was holding his own against Frieza and from there he also realized that Goku's power has increased a lot and said, but how? How is it that this bastard has gotten a lot stronger since our battle on earth? Not bad, monkey. I knew you would be this strong. That is why I have come prepared. Now let me end this once and for all. Please, don't stop me from letting you end whatever you want, Frieza. Show me what you got. With that, Frieza went and he screamed.
Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. I hope you're ready to die, monkey. <laughs> wow, not bad, Frieza. Your power surely has increased a lot. And I can say, before Goku can finish his sentence, Frieza went and he decked Goku right in his face and he followed with a kick as he began to go and overpower Goku and not letting him have any space to breathe. Goku then went and he tried to space him out with Frieza as he managed to do so but from there Frieza came right next to him and he uppercut Goku. Goku quickly went and powered up a blast to aim it towards Frieza but Frieza managed to go and disperse it as he went and powered up his own blast to kill Goku once and for all and aimed it at him. With that Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan and said, Your power is surely one of the greatest I've ever faced, Frieza, but I can't let you live any longer. Oh my god, Kakarot, your power is just unbelievable. <laughs> so I see you finally used your corrupted power then, huh? Well then let's see what he can do, monkey. Goku instantly came right next to Frieza and he struck him right in his back, getting Frieza to be in pain and with that, he went and kicked Frieza, getting Frieza to be sent flying. But Frieza managed to go and stop himself as he charged right towards Goku, and Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another and they were going back and forth. Goku then managed to brush Frieza away as he went and kneed him right in his stomach getting Frieza to gasp for air, and with that he punched him as he began to overpower Frieza inside his corrupted Super Saiyan nevertheless. While Frieza was only using his golden form but Frieza began to laugh as Goku noticed and said, <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you that much of a psychopath? Ha! I'm only laughing just to see how powerful you are compared to me and I can tell you, your power is too weak monkey. <laughs> Says the one who wasn't able to land a blow on me. Is that so? Let me tell you a little secret. This isn't my true power. I still got a power stronger than this. Oh, well then Frieza, let me see it then. My pleasure. Frieza has now transformed into his Frieza black form as Goku was shocked on seeing how much his power has increased and from there Frieza smiled and said This is my black form you can say, I hope you're ready to die. Before Goku can even respond, Frieza instantly came right in front of his face and he headbutted Goku, getting to be sent flying meters away and when Goku tried to stop himself Frieza went and kneed him in his stomach as Goku gasped for air and from there he went and punched Frieza but it didn't phase Frieza. Frieza went and kicked Goku high in the air. Goku tried to stop himself but the pressure was too much from Frieza's kick as Frieza came right in front of him and he smashed him towards the ground. Once when Goku got up he saw that Frieza has come right next to him and said, Had enough monkey? I think it's time you die. Raditz, Nappa, Bardock, along with Piccolo, Gohan and even Chi Chi saw that Goku was in trouble so they all rushed to aid him but it didn't work. Frieza threw a blast at them and all of them fell to the ground. While Frieza went and picked Goku up and he began to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku was getting the light beat out of him as he didn't stood a chance against Frieza's black form. Goku then went and he powered up his corrupted ki to 100% and said, There's no way I'm gonna let you beat me Frieza. I'm here to end you once and for all and that's what I'm going to do. Ha! Poor naive monkey. I guess you didn't eat your banana. Before Goku can respond back, Frieza went and he kneed Goku right in his nose, getting his nose to break and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Goku yet again, as Goku was completely powerless to do anything to Frieza and with that Frieza went and stabbed Goku right in his heart as he managed to pierce right through Goku's body and from there Goku fell on his knees and he began to bleed out. Frieza looked towards him and said, What a pathetic monkey, now die. 
as Frieza went and aimed a blast towards Goku, and he died right there. Fine. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Frieza, who has just used his black form, has proven that he is something you cannot mess with as he's shown everyone the difference between his power and someone the likes of Goku. Goku, who is born with corrupted Saiyan, you can say how powerful he is, we saw just what he did to his previous villains and stuff like that, but against Frieza, Goku was being nothing but a toy, as Frieza was pretty much making sports out of him, and from there, he has done which no one has ever seen, and that is, unfortunately for our hero, Goku wasn't strong enough to stop Frieza, as Frieza went and he stabbed Goku and then killed him with a blast. Bardock and Gine, obviously, the parents of Goku seeing that their child has died right in front of them was a trauma that they couldn't go through with yet again because they didn't know if their son had survived but this time they saw their son has died right before their eyes as they couldn't believe what they're seeing and they began tearing up while Raditz who was the brother of Goku was completely shocked and stung and when it comes to Gohan he began crying and from there Gohan felt some rage as he had a lot of emotion piling up and after all he is his father's son. With that, Gohan went and he charged right towards Frieza and he began attacking him with everything he's got. Gohan didn't care if he was weaker or stronger, what he cared was that Frieza was the one who brought him so much pain since he did kill his father right before his own eyes. Frieza then brushed Gohan off but Gohan managed to go and deck Frieza as he had corrupted Ki emitting out of him. After all, he is Goku's son, it is bound for him to get it. With that, Frieza was shocked to see how Gohan was able to hit him and said, What the? How can a run do this to me? Before Frieza can make the next move, Piccolo came and he used a technique called the Solar Flare. Sorry Tien, but Piccolo did borrow one of your techniques. And because of that, Frieza and everyone else there got blind as Piccolo managed to go and take Gohan and everyone else and they fled the scene. Frieza then got really upset seeing where everyone has left and said, Where did it go? Find him and kill them instantly! Ugh, those moron! Why are they not realizing that they don't stand a chance against Frieza? They saw what he did to Kakarot! While Frieza's men were busy trying to find where the rest of the Z Fires went, Bardock and everyone else has regrouped as they still couldn't believe what happened to Goku, and since Goku was their only hope, they felt very hopeless. All hope was lost after he has been killed by Frieza. Bardock then saw one of Frieza's spaceship was there and he decided to go and use it to escape the planet along with everyone else as they managed to leave the planet and they set a course to go to planet earth. While Chi Chi looked at Namek and she began crying since that was a place where her husband has died and now everyone went and made the way towards earth. Their plan was to use the Dragon Balls to summon it and wish for Goku to be alive again but they have to wait for a year since they have already used Shenron once, he only is summoned once every year. Let's go right back to the time when Frieza killed Goku, as he took his dying breath and from there Frieza ended his life. Goku on the other hand got sent over to Otherworld, where he met with King Yama, but Kami was also there and he was shocked to see that Goku has died but he has arranged for Goku to go and meet with King Kai and maybe he might have the answers to Goku's corrupted key. Goku then proceeded to make his way down the snake way as he managed to get himself towards King Kai's world. And once when he got there, Goku was really shocked on seeing who King Kai is since he expected King Kai to be some powerful warrior who was the one who also trained King Yama nevertheless, it was no one other than just some fat mini Kai who looks very weak. As Goku was surprised to see King Kai but from there, King Kai decided to teach Goku everything he knows as he taught Goku the Kaioken and even the spirit bomb but it wasn't enough as he asked him, do you know anything about my corrupted key King Kai? Hey what? Did you just say corrupted key? Yeah that's right, I'm born with corrupted key. Oh my, I have never smit someone who has corrupted key before. I'm gonna have to call the Supreme Kai, maybe he knows. Being shocked that Goku is the corrupted key, King Kai decided to go and talk telepathically with Supreme Kai and told him to come to his world as Supreme Kai has Kai Kai there and when he saw Goku, he was shocked to learn that Goku is born with corrupted key nevertheless and from there he said, 
You know, I've been watching this multiverse for a very long time. More specifically, this universe. And one thing I learned is there's only one person I've seen who is born with such key. His name was Cumber. He is also a Saiyan. What? A Saiyan? So are you saying that I took his DNA or something? But he was a very evil Saiyan. Maybe he can teach you more. I know exactly where he is. Okay then, let's go see him. Ah, uh, Supreme Kai went and he took Goku and Kai kai him to Planet Prison. Once when they got there, Goku was very astonished on seeing a planet where they had a lot of powerful people locked up and he couldn't believe that there's a planet inside Universe 7 that has this type of environment. There's, there's no such thing as a planet where you lock people up, but Planet Prison is a place. As they managed to go and make their way towards one prisoner and Goku saw it was a Saiyan who was all chained up and he also saw a lot of corrupted ki was emitting out of him as he looked towards Goku and said What? No way! You're the one who possesses my ki, huh? So you're the first Saiyan to ever get such power? That is right! I'm also the one to make this my own, thus making me this strong! I just died against Frieza! How would you like to learn to use my ki? But in return, you will have to do anything I tell you to do. With that, Goku saw Cumber's chain has broke as he came right in front of Goku and he began powering up his ki. Seeing just how powerful his corrupted ki was got Goku nervous, but Goku didn't back down as he smiled and said, <laughs> Whoa, your power is amazing! It's getting my blood to boil just to fight you! Are you ready then? Show me how powerful you are! And with that, their battle has begun. Cumber went and he rushed right towards Goku and striked him right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying. But Goku wasn't done here, as Goku quickly went and he did a backflip and he tried to kick Cumber but he saw it didn't even phase him. Goku's whole objective was not to fight Cumber but instead, he was observing on how Cumber uses his key, and so he could do the same. Cumber smiled and said, Is that all the power you got? You know there's one special thing about my key is that when we slay another user with the same key, we get twice, or you can say three times the power, and increases us a lot by 30 times. Whoa! And unfortunately for you, Cumber, I'm already dead. That's why I cannot die, but you can. Since my body is still intact, I could go and defeat you then. Alright then, it's time to make myself a lot stronger. As Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan corrupted form, and with that he went and charged right towards Cumber, as Cumber did the same and both of their power clashed with one another and they were going back and forth. The entire planet was shaking, after all we got two corrupted key going at it to see who is the stronger one while Cumber who has a lot more skill and is a lot more advanced than Goku since he did live for a very long time was stronger than Goku but Goku couldn't die since Cumber tried to kill him with his blast but Goku would still be alive since he is already dead. How could he kill someone who's already dead? You cannot but Goku had an advantage and from there Goku went and he powered up an attack since Cumber was kind of fatigued from all the attack he threw towards Goku. He saw Goku came right in front of him, and before Goku can unleash the blast, Cumber saw the entire chain that broke off went right back on him as he got rechained again, but it allowed him to be open for a fatal blow. Goku went and he delivered a decisive blow as Cumber managed to let him slay him and said, <laughs> Looks like you managed to kill me. That was my plan. What? You let me kill you? Of course. I'm useless, I'm all chained up, but now you will possess my power. And there's anything that I know, that is we corrupted Saiyans need to be together. Now it's time for you to get your revenge on Frieza and everyone else. Goku began to absorb Cumber's key, but he couldn't control himself, as Cumber's key was overflowing him and it gave him a lot of pressure in his body, but at the same time, Cumber is very evil, 
and that evil ki was fighting with Goku's pure heart as Goku went to a shock and from there his entire body began to glow as he went to a rage mode. Supreme Kai saw that Goku was not in control of himself as he got very worried and he also saw that Heart was about to come to see what's going on so he quickly went and Kai Kai Goku to his world. Once when he got to his own world, he quickly bind Goku with some sacred bind as Goku was all bind up there and he had to fight with his own self in order for him to obtain Cumbrous Key. As he spent over days after days waiting for Goku to control and finally Goku got control of Cumbrous Power as he managed to fully absorb it and keep his pure hardness inside him, he was very successful on obtaining Cumber's key. Whoa, Goku! Your power is amazing! Thank you, Supreme Kai. I just cannot believe how powerful Cumber was. And ever since he gave me his key, it's like he gave me his memory. I could finally see the stuff that he has been through. Well, Goku, are you ready to go and train more? Of course I am. Goku went right back to King Kai's world and he continued to train and as you know it one year has finally passed and it was time for the Z Fires to go and use the Dragon Balls to wish for Goku to be alive again. With that they have summoned Shenron and now they wish for Goku to be brought back. Shenron managed to make Goku come back as he came to planet Earth and he smiled at everyone and said, Yo! I'm back everyone! Everyone was very happy to see Goku as you couldn't stop having tears flowing down their face while Gine ran and hugged her son and Bardock did the same and they're happy that they finally reunited with one another while Chi Chi couldn't let go of Goku and he decided to spend some time with her before they go on on a training spree. While everyone's busy enjoying Goku's return, little did they knew, Frieza ordered Vegeta and his father King Cole to go to planet Earth and slay all the Z Fire that's there since he knows they're from Earth thanks to Vegeta and he also wanted the planet to be destroyed as a space bot has now arrived to planet earth and there was no one other than Vegeta and King Cold. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. While Goku was busy celebrating with his family and he decided to go on a training spree with Piccolo, Gohan, Bardock, Raditz so they can all get a lot stronger along with Chi Chi and Gine. But Chi Chi and Gine didn't really train that much compared to the boys since they were more motivated to keep up their power but Goku had a big motivation and that was to defeat Frieza. After all, he knew just how powerful Frieza is and he knew that Frieza managed to kill him so it will take everything he's got just to beat him. While Goku was training, little did everyone knew, Vegeta and King Cole has now arrived to planet Earth since Frieza ordered him to come there to destroy the planet and kill the rest of the Z fighters. Once when they all arrived to planet Earth, Goku and everyone were training but they sensed the evil energy coming from the west as Goku stopped his training and said, Hmm? What the? Do you sense that too? Wait, it's, it's Vegeta! You're right Piccolo, and it also feels like it's Frieza, but it's not really Frieza. Maybe is someone related to him? I don't know who that is, but we need to go check it out. You guys ready? Yeah, of course we are. Well then let's go. As the Z Friars went and they made their way to where's where King Cold and Vegeta was, while King Cold and Vegeta came out of their spaceship and from there, Vegeta looked towards King Cold and said, Do you think you have enough power to destroy everyone that's here? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Just because you're my son's commander doesn't mean you get to forget your place. <laughs> Alright, I apologize. Don't need to chew my ass for that. As they were about to go and make the next move but from there, they sensed the Z Friars coming towards them. As the Z Fires has now arrived but from there Vegeta was very shocked seeing that Goku was alive as he couldn't believe it and he thought he was first seeing a ghost but from there he said uh, Kakarot? But how? I saw Frieza kill you! I mean we all did! How are you alive? <laughs> I see you're still a coward Vegeta trying to hide behind Frieza's back the whole time and I have been alive due to the Dragon Balls. Oh yeah I forgot. This pathetic planet has a set of Dragon Balls themselves. Well, nevertheless, I am here to destroy it. 
You didn't bring Frieza with you, Vegeta. You know what that means. You guys don't stand a chance against me. Is that so? Well, I didn't bring Frieza, but his father's here. And he's quite the powerful being, you can say. Oh yeah? Then bring it on. As Goku went, and he began to power up his ki, but that wasn't enough. He wanted to show them what he's made out of as Goku went, and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan, but just like Cumber, he had the ability to take over someone as he uses key pressure and it got to Vegeta. Vegeta couldn't control himself as it got him to go and transform into his Super Saiyan, but he was out of control and he became into his rage mode. What is happening to me? <laughs> You're under my control, Vegeta. How about you stay down and let the big boys fight? As Vegeta couldn't believe what was happening to him, he had no sense, but from there, everyone saw someone has arrived. As they went and kneed King Cold right in his face, and they threw a blast right towards him. King Cold got hit by the blast, and once when the smoke cleared, they saw it was a warrior. has come from the future and he felt that he was kind of a badass. With that, everyone made a vow to do everything they can to go and train for the next three years so they can stop whatever comes to them. While Vegeta has not woken up and from there Goku looked towards him and said, I am sick and tired of keep sparing your life Vegeta. You have one choice now. Stay with us and obey us or you're gonna die right here. No more of you being Frieza's lackey. <laughs> I don't have no choice, he's so powerful. If we all disobey him, you saw what he did to you, Kakarot! Don't worry, I have gotten a lot stronger. Frieza can go and try to rule this universe, but the time will come for us to meet again, and I promise you when that happens, he will die. How could you be so sure? I told you, I got some special training done. As Vegeta could see in Goku's eyes, he was serious, and with that, 
he decided to stay on planet Earth and leave Frieza. Goku then told Vegeta that he'll need his help for this upcoming war as Vegeta has agreed to help him and with that they all went right back to Bulma's lookout as they continued to go and make plans of what's going to happen. And as you know it, everyone decided to go and train. Vegeta and Bulma had a little spice with one another as they had feelings for each other since Bulma did have a little love for sight for Vegeta and next you know both of them got in love with one another and they, you could say they got married and they end up producing a kid like Trunks. But every day Vegeta lived in fear on when will Frieza come to kill everyone and when Frieza finds out that Vegeta has left him, it will really get him upset. And as you know it, the Z Fires went on a training spree doing everything they can to make sure they survived this upcoming war. Goku on the other hand decided to go and take Gohan with him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can get Gohan prepared and help him utilize his corrupted key and even train his own corrupted key. As they spent one day there and that was enough for both of them to have enough power and with that they have left the chamber. Back on Frieza's world, Frieza noticed that his father didn't return and Vegeta and he felt like they have been dead since they couldn't sense the ship that was given to them to go to the planet and therefore they presumed that both Vegeta and King Cole has died as Frieza was shocked to hear that and said, So these earthling managed to go and take out my best man and my father, huh? Ha! <laughs> Looks like I'll have to go there myself, but right now I'm really busy. I must go and try to get some more people to join and see what they can do to recruit me or not. I'm gonna rule this universe and then go destroy that filthy planet. As Frieza set a course since he has his own crusade and they give the Z Fire a lot of time to go and train and do everything he can. And as you know it, three years has passed since the Z Fire did everything but train for this fateful day to come. As they are now all ready to go and make their way towards West City since that is the place where the androids would appear. Once when the Z Fires got there, Goku couldn't sense the androids since no one's able to sense android, but they saw an explosion happening from there, and once when they got there, they saw an old man along with three other androids were standing next to him. With that, he looked towards Goku as Goku stared at him and said, So you guys are the androids, huh? Oh, if it isn't Goku. We have been expecting you, Goku. Yeah, I bet. Tell me, why are you guys doing this? It is because you have destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, and because of that, we're gonna make sure to make you pay and destroy everything you hold dear. So this is all because of revenge, huh? Well then how about I give you guys a good revenge right here? With that, Bardock went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan, while Raditz has transformed into his Super Saiyan, along with Gohan who has transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan, and from there Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has transformed to his corrupted Super Saiyan and their battle has begun. Piccolo went and he rushed right towards Jiro and he striked him and while Goku rushed right towards Android 17 and he began to attack him. Since Goku took the antidote he was able to fight in this war as he started to overpower Android 17. Everyone was shocked to see just how powerful Goku has gotten since Goku is taking his war very seriously and he has absorbed Cumber's key it gave him a lot more power than what you could comprehend. As Android 17 went and he tried to hit Goku but Goku dodged it and he instantly kicked him right in his face, getting to be sent flying straight to the ground. Android 18 saw that as she tried to aid it but Gohan went and headbutted Android 18 while Barda came to help Gohan and from there they began to attack Android 18. Gohan from the future has now arrived to the timeline as he saw that the battle has already started and from there he made his way towards there and while that was happening, someone was making their way towards the battlefield as they're ready to go and do something which you cannot believe. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. The battle for the androids continues here, but what is different inside this timeline compared to what future Gohan saw and told Goku was that there is more than two androids where for future Gohan's timeline, he only had to deal with two androids. And one thing that's different here is that 
The androids are a lot stronger compared to what Future Gohan has fought with, but because Goku is way more powerful than he was inside the Future Timeline, he is making these androids look like ants, as Goku is literally making sports out of them. Android 17 was really angry and tried to do everything he can to overpower Goku, but Goku after absorbing Cumber's key proved to be a powerhouse as he managed to go and beat the shit out of Android 17 and from there Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave as he was ready to go and unleash it on 17 to kill him once and for all. Gohan on the other hand has used his corrupted Super Saiyan power and he managed to go and beat the shit out of Dr. Jiro. Despite the fact that his grandpa Bardock was helping Gohan, Gohan was easily holding his own against Jiro and with that he went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Dr. Jiro right there. Vegeta and Piccolo were doing everything they can to take down Android 18 but she was the powerhouse she managed to go and beat the shit out of both Vegeta and Piccolo as she was about to go and make the finishing blow on them but from there future Gohan has arrived. Goku and everyone was happy to see that Gohan has arrived to help them but from there Gohan has already used his corrupted Super Saiyan as he went and he struck Android 18 right in her face before Goku can unleash the blast towards Android 17. Everyone saw someone was coming as they could feel Frieza's power level, then they felt King Cold's power level, and they were able to sense Goku's power level and they got very worried, wondering who is this being who has everyone's power level within them. And from there they saw someone went and unleashed a solar flare, getting everyone blind, and next thing they know, they heard Android 17 being sucked into some type of hole while Android 18 was making choke noise and she also got absorbed as they felt a huge rush of power. <laughs> ah, finally, I'm able to achieve what they call ultimate perfection. I'm at last in my final form. What? Who is this? What the? What kind of android is this? I never saw this in my timeline. You mean you never fought with someone like this? No! I actually never fought with any other androids. There was only two androids in my timeline, the one who just got absorbed. What? So are you saying that there are two different type of androids? I think maybe ever since I came here to tell you about the androids father, I managed to affect the timeline, which brought this. <laughs> Goku, I have been waiting to fight you for a very long time. So you know me, huh? Of course I do. I am Dr. Jiro's greatest creation. You can call me Cell. I won't buy for this, shut up! As Gohan without thinking ran and he rushed right towards Cell and he striked him. But Cell was unfazed by Gohan. He looked towards him and said, Is that all the power you got? <laughs> My turn! Cell went and he kicked Gohan right in his jaw, getting to be sent flying towards the rocks. Goku saw that Cell power has increased a lot just for an instant, as Goku came and said, Hey, your battle's with me, let me see what you got then, Cell! <laughs> My pleasure, Goku. I have come here to fight you after all. <laughs> then bring it on! As Goku went and he powered up his corrupted key. With that, Cell went and rushed right towards Goku and he tried to strike him, but Goku dodged Cell's hit and from there he went and kneed him right in his stomach. With that, Goku followed with a punch, getting Cell to fly towards the ground. Everyone saw that Goku was able to hold his own against Cell despite the fact that Cell went and he absorbed the likes of Android 18 and even 17, Goku was still showing that he is stronger, as Goku continued to go and overpower Cell. Cell did everything he can to try to hit Goku, but Goku was dodging it and said, This is pathetic. Is that all the power you got, Cell? <laughs> oh, someone's in a patient to die. You do know, Goku, I also possess your Cell. So? That means I also have what you call Corrupted Key. What? That is right. I was only toying with you this whole time. I never thought I will have to use much more power after getting to my final form, but I guess I was wrong. Behold! <laughs> this is Dr. Jiro's greatest creation. 
I am ultimate perfection. As Cell has now used his own corrupted key with his power, thus changing his appearance and even look, giving him such an amazing power height. Goku was shocked for a second, as he couldn't believe just how strong Cell was and with that, before Goku can even react, Cell came right in front of him as he headbutted Goku, getting to fall to the ground. Cell didn't waste any time as he went and picked Goku up by his leg and threw him high in the air as he followed with the uppercut and he decked him right in his stomach. Goku spat out blood as he was surprised to see that Cell power has increased this much. After all, he does have Frieza Cell and even Goku's. With that, Cell went and started to overpower Goku as he began to attack him. Goku did a backflip as he powered up a hundred percent Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Cell. Once when the blast came, Cell managed to go and disperse it as he caught it with one hand and he looked towards Goku and said, This is pathetic Goku, you know you don't stand a chance against me. Before Cell could make another move, Bardock, Vegeta and even Gohan along with Piccolo went and they charged right towards Cell as they started to attack him. Cell went and he easily kneed all of them right in their stomach as he threw them towards the ground. Goku saw that Cell was an amazing fighter as he smiled and said, <laughs> You're not bad, Cell. I'm impressed that your powers are strong. What do you expect, Goku? I am the ultimate perfection. Enough of keep talking about yourself. I understand your power is very strong. After all, you just steal all of our power. Huh? How dare you call it steal? You heard me. But you want to know something, Cell? Thanks to my future son, Kier Gohan, I was able to alter the future timeline. That means I was prepared for this moment. I have way more power than what I showed you. Is that so? You bluffing? You think I'm bluffing? Well then, Cell, let me show you my true corrupted key! Goku, after training inside the hyperbolic time chamber, throughout the three years gap, he managed to prepare himself getting his body to be ready for any power, but now he has gone and broke his limit as Goku has transformed into something known as Super Saiyan 2 Corrupted Saiyan, or you can call it Corrupted Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He managed to go to the next level of a Super Saiyan as he looked towards Cell and said, Are you ready to fight me now, Cell? This power right here is the power I would run away from if I were you. What? How did you possess so much power? It doesn't make sense! What happened, Sal? I thought you are ultimate perfection. How dare you mock me! With that, Sal went and he rushed right towards Goku as he punched him right in his face but he saw Goku didn't flinch. Goku allowed Sal to hit him but he showed him that his hit didn't even phase him. Cell was surprised to see that as he did a backflip and he went and powered up a special beam cannon, one of Piccolo's technique, and he aimed it towards Goku. Goku went and caught it with just one finger and he dispersed it. Seeing that got Cell to be very worried as he couldn't believe that Goku was able to catch it with just a finger. Goku then came right in front of Cell and he punched him, getting Cell to be sent flying meters away but Goku followed as he instantly came right behind him and he kneed him in his face. Cell fell to the ground as Goku looked towards him and said, What's the matter, Cell? Was this power too much for you to handle? It doesn't make sense. How did you get this much power? After all, you are ultimate perfection. You could call me the true corrupted Saiyan. With that, Goku went and he rushed right towards Cell as he uppercut him, getting him to be sent flying high in the air. And from there, Cell got angry as he went and used 100% of his corrupted key and he rushed right towards Goku and Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another as they were going back and forth. Cell went and he tried to power up another blast to aim it towards Goku but this time Goku went and he kicked the blast out of space as the NC came right in front of Cell and he decked him right in his stomach really hard getting Cell to feel like he's about to puke and from there Goku went and threw him high in the air as he landed another decisive blow as Cell managed to go and puke out Andre 17 and 18 and with that he has reverted right back to his base. 
Before anything can happen, Goku saw that Cell could be a tricky android and to end this once and for all, he went and powered up a massive blast and he aimed it right towards Cell as it hit him head on and he died right there. Goku by breaking this limit and transforming into his Super Saiyan 2 corrupted power nevertheless managed to go and overpower Cell as he showed him the difference between his power and Cell and he managed to put an end towards his battle once and for all. Everyone was very impressed with Goku's power but they decided to go and celebrate at Boma's place as they all went there to celebrate Goku's victory and with that Gohan hugged Goku as he said his goodbye to everyone and he went right back to the future timeline. While well, Vegeta and everyone else were shocked to see that Goku's power is this strong and they want to do everything they can to make themselves stronger. Gohan was also surprised to see that his father has progressed so much and from there he made a vow to Goku that he will do everything he can to keep up to him and be on his level as Goku has agreed to train Gohan even more. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Seven years has passed since Goku defeated Cell by transforming into his Super Saiyan 2 corrupted form nevertheless and he proved to be a powerhouse as Cell who possessed Goku Cell along with Frieza and other powerful warrior Cell still couldn't beat Goku when he used his Super Saiyan Corrupted 2 form. With that, everyone decided to make a vow to do everything they can to catch up to Goku and train for the next 7 years straight and that's exactly what everyone did. As 7 years has passed and within those 7 years, when it comes to Vegeta, him and Boma has finally gotten married and all and from there they even had a kid and they decided to name him Trunks just like the canon because Vegeta has nothing else to do and I guess it's best that he stays with Boma no other woman is suitable for him. So with Vegeta marrying Boma and having Trunks, when it comes to Goku and Chi Chi, they have ended up producing another child and they named him Goten. Goten is a copy of Goku but he also possess a little bit of corrupted ki as he's motivated to train with his father. When it comes to Gohan, Goku has introduced Gohan to the Supreme Kai since Supreme Kai is the one who helped Goku meet with Cumber and he get his true power and with that, when Supreme Kai got the news that Gohan is the same as Goku. He decided to work on Gohan and help him achieve his true power as he got Gohan to go and wield the Z-Sword and with that Gohan managed to go and break it, releasing the old Kai. As the old Kai thanked Gohan for releasing him and with that he decided to go and unleash Gohan's potential as Gohan has now unleashed his mystic power, giving him a huge boost and not to mention he has corrupted key so that is mystic corrupted key. Gohan continued to go and train even harder so he can keep up with Goku. And when it comes to Goku, him and Piccolo went on a training spree as they continued to push one another and Vegeta decided to go and swallow his pride and ask Goku if he can train him. Goku allowed Vegeta to train with them in their training session. As you know it, everyone continued to go and train. Bardock and Gine want to always be by Goku and Raditz's side so they decide to stay along and train with Goku so they can also be with Goku by his side if any battle comes down to it. So with the entire family training and everyone else, Gohan who decided not to go to school and continue his training unlike in the canon, which makes him a lot more stronger than he is in the canon, everyone decided to go and test out their power among one another by entering something called the World Martial Arts Tournament. As they decide to go and enter but before they can, Supreme Kai has now arrived to planet earth as Goku saw he had a distressed face and said, Gosh, what's the matter Supreme Kai? I'm sorry for this Goku. But I have finally located where he is. Where's who? Majin Buu. Majin Buu? Who's that? With that, Supreme Kai explained Goku everything about who Majin Buu is, how he hunted a Kai in the past and he managed to kill a lot of Supreme Kai and now he has find him where he is so he could kill him once and for all but obviously he cannot do it alone he would need Goku's help. Gohan who just finished his training with the Supreme Kai was ready to go and show his new power to everyone as he has arrived with Kaido Kai and from there Goku was very impressed on seeing Gohan's power as he couldn't believe just how powerful his son has gotten. He did come visit him there and there from planet earth to Supreme Kai's world and brought Gohan here so he can see his family as everyone was amazed with Gohan's power. With that they decided to go and help the Supreme Kai to stop Majin Buu once and for all so they decided to go and follow him as Supreme Kai managed to find where Babidi hideout is. Once when they came to Babidi's hideout, they then saw that Deborah, the king of the demon along with 
Pew Pew, one of Bobby's men, went and they opened the door so they entered it. With that, Goku and everyone else decide to infiltrate it so they can see where this Majin Buu person is. Once when they infiltrate Babidi's spaceship, Dora saw that as he decided to go and attack them but from there Gohan went and he kicked Dora right in his face and he one shot him as he died right there. Vegeta was impressed on seeing Gohan's power as he couldn't believe it has increased this much. Goku was very amazed with Gohan's power and said, Wow Gohan, your power is amazing! Thanks father but it's just the beginning. You're right, now let's continue finding out where they are. As they continue to go and explore the ship to see where Babidi and Majibu is. Babidi saw through his camera that he is in trouble since Goku managed to go infiltrate his spaceship and Gohan has one shot at King Dabura. With that he had no idea what to do but from there he was able to detect everyone's key as he saw that Goku's key and Gohan was kinda different but his main focus was on Goku as he noticed that Goku's corrupted key is something else compared to everyone else including Gohan and with that since Goku did kill Cumber, he has possessed all of his power. Goku also possessed the evilness inside Cumber, which has a little tint in his heart. Babidi saw that as he decided to go and use that towards his advantage when the time comes. Goku on the other hand has done nothing but train over the last 7 years trying to up his power because his one goal is to get his revenge and that is to kill Frieza. And he also managed to go and take his Super Saiyan 2 corrupted form to the next level as he's ready to go and display it right here. With that, the Supreme Kai finally located where Babidi was as they opened the door and they saw that Babidi was there and he began laughing and say, <laughs> So you finally found me! Well then, let me show you something! It's over for you, Babidi. We have come here to kill you once and for all. Ha! You still haven't fought my strongest men! And who is that? Papa da Papa! As Supreme Kai noticed that Babidi went and he used his magic, on one of the Z fighters but he had no idea who it was and with that everyone saw Goku went and he began to scream in pain as he couldn't handle the pressure that was coming into him. Everyone see that Goku was in pain as Supreme Kai tried to help Goku out telling him to breathe through it but Goku couldn't hear no one as his corrupted key was obeying every order that Babidi told him and with that Goku's heart has reverted to be evil as a lot of corrupted key pour out of Goku's body and with that Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 2, as he began to laugh and say, <laughs> Wow, so this is what it feels like to be like Cumber you can say, huh? What? Who the hell's Cumber? Father, what happened to you? <laughs> Goku, your first order is to obey me by killing the Supreme Kai. <laughs> yeah, right. If that's what you want, then I'll easily end his life. As you can see that Goku had a lot of ki pouring out and with that he quickly continued to power up Majin Buu and since Goku is corrupted, nevertheless it gave out more power and from there Majin Buu egg has hatched as he also came out. Everyone saw that Majin Buu was there along with Goku as Gohan was very frightened seeing that his father is evil but from there Piccolo told him to man up and that they could do this together. With that, Goku went and he shined a blast as he was about to go and kill Supreme Kai, but from there Gohan went and he kicked the blast away and said, Father, relax! This is not you! <laughs> Get out of my way, Gohan, unless you know what's good for you. Oh yeah? Bring it on then, Father! With that, Gohan went and he rushed right towards Goku as he tried to strike him, but Goku dodged it and he punched Gohan right in his face, but saw Gohan dodge that and he went and kicked Goku. Goku flew meters away as he got up and said, Oh, I see your training really paid off, Gohan. You're able to hit me. Listen here, you tub. I don't want you touching these guys. I want to kill them myself. <laughs> me, Boo, kill them! Do what I say. Boo didn't like to be ordered by Goku as he got angry and before he could do anything, Goku went and he shined the blast right at Majin Boo as he killed him right there. Babidi saw that as he was very scared to see that what had Goku has done but he noticed that Goku is far stronger than Majin Buu and therefore he can use Goku towards his advantage 
as he decides to go and make Goku his main person. As is relieved that Majibu has finally died but he saw that Goku was the real deal. And with that, Gohan went and he powered up his ki as his and Goku's battle has begun. Goku went and he rushed right towards Gohan as Gohan did the same and both their power clashed at one another and they were going at it. Goku was overpowering Gohan since he has done a longer training than Gohan and from there he began to go and punch him in his stomach, kick him and he started to beat the shit out of Gohan. But since Gohan trained for 7 years straight with Supreme Kai and he was very dedicated to get stronger he was able to use a new power as he looked towards Goku and said, ok father if this is how you want to play then let's do it. <laughs> what can you do Gohan? I'll show you. <laughs> Gohan has now gone and he transformed into a new form which he calls Beast Gohan. This is Beast Gohan form. Father, please, don't do this. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, your power definitely has increased a lot, Gohan, but so has mine. As Goku went and he rushed right towards Gohan, and before he could hit him, Gohan went and decked Goku right, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. Goku then got up and saw that Gohan was there as he went and punched Goku and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku was impressed to see just how powerful Gohan was and said, Not bad son, but I also have more power than this. It is time I put an end towards you once and for all. <laughs> Goku has now done the impossible as he managed to take his Super Saiyan 2 to the next level and he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan 3. This is corrupted Super Saiyan 3 Goku and nevertheless he is Majin Goku. Well son, what do you think about this power? I guess you can call this Super Saiyan 3. Are you ready to die now? What? Fuck! Before Gohan can finish his sentence. Goku came right in front of him as he decked him right in his face, getting Gohan to be sent flying meters away. But Goku followed as he went and he choked Gohan right from his neck and slammed him towards the ground and he started to put a lot of pressure and said, You are pathetic Gohan, I thought you might be challenged to me but you hardly can touch me in this form. Goku then went and threw Gohan high in the air as he rushed towards him and he decked him. Goku's Super Saiyan 3 power was emitting a lot of energy as the entire universe was able to sense his power. Everyone across in the universe could sense some type of power coming far from the galaxy but this power was so strong that someone from the far galaxy at a destroyer place was able to sense it as he woke up from his slumber and said, Uh? What the? What the hell am I sensing? What is this power? Oh. I see. Planet Earth, huh? Whis, what the hell is going on? Apparently, my lord, this power is coming from a Saiyan. What? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Whis, what the hell are you saying? Which saying can be this strong? Well apparently my lord, he is a corrupted Q saying you can say. And his name is Goku from what I see. What? Goku? But how could a Saiyans be alive? Well, Frieza did destroy them, but this one managed to survive, and he also fought with Frieza. And when it comes to Frieza, my lord, he is very strong. He achieved his new power and he managed to kill the Saiyan, but obviously he got revived with the Dragon Balls. That bastard Frieza's still out there, huh? 
and he's that strong now. Looks like I have to be prepared for everything. But first things first, I'm gonna go and see the Saiyan Weez take me to him. Very well, my lord. As Weez and Beerus has now left their planet, making their way towards planet Earth. While on Earth, Goku has now transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan 3 power. As his key was overflowing and from there, he looked to everyone and said, What's the matter? You guys had it enough yet? Or do you want to die now? <laughs> Father! What's wrong with you? I'm here to end this once and for all, son. Now let's see what you got. Goku went and he rushed right towards Gohan as he striked him right in his face and from there he went and uppercut him, getting Gohan to be sent flying high in the air. But before Goku can do anything, Vegeta, Piccolo, along with Raditz and even Bardock went and they all powered up their key as they aimed the blast right towards Goku. Goku went and he brushed the blast off like if it was nothing and said, you guys are so weak, you can do nothing to me. With that, Goku just used his key as his key pressure was enough to get them to be sent flying towards the ground. Gohan went and he used 100% of his beast form as he tried to hit Goku but he saw it didn't even phase him. After all, this is corrupted key Goku who trained for the last 7 years straight, doing everything he can to make sure his power would be this strong. Goku went and he headbutted Gohan as he striked him right in his face and from there, he began beating the shit out of him. While Goku was doing that, his power was so strong that it went throughout the entire universe, Frieza on the other hand was able to sense it, since he is now able to pick up the power to sense other people's key and with that he said, Hmm? My lord, it would appear this power is coming from planet Earth. Earth, you say? Well, that planet, that's the same planet that killed my father and, and Vegeta, huh? Very well. I guess it's time I go pay a visit to that planet, since I have already done my duties. Well then, let's do it, my lord. As Frieza has now set a course, making his way to planet Earth, but it will take him at least a year to get there since he's way across from the universe. With that, Goku was beating the lights out of Gohan, as Supreme Kai had no answers for Goku while Piccolo went and he shined a blast to kill Babidi thinking that that might break the spell but it didn't. Babidi died but Goku continued to attack Gohan. With that, before Goku can make the next move, everyone sensed a huge pressure has arrived to planet Earth right next to Goku and Gohan as there was no one other than Beerus and Whis. What the? Who are you? Tell me, Saiyan. Your power is amazing. How did you get this strong? What are you talking about? I'm a corrupted key Saiyan nevertheless. Is that so? Well, do you know anything about a Super Saiyan God? Super Saiyan God? No. And now get out of my planet, otherwise you will face the same consequences as the rest of them. Is that so? Well then, Saiyan, show me what you got. With that, Goku let go of Gohan as he reverted his attention towards Beerus and from there, their battle has begun. Beerus did not like Goku's attitude but he was informed by Whis that Goku has been controlled by Babidi's power and the magic will take time for it to war off and with that, he is right now evil. Beerus had to use this to see where he stands as he went and rushed right towards Goku and he striked Goku. Goku went and he striked him back and with that both their power clashed at one another and they were going at it. Not bad for a kitty cat, I say. <laughs> Not bad for a monkey. Alright then, let's see what you got. As Goku and Beerus were going at it, but Vegeta was very scared on seeing Beerus and said, uh, uh, That's Lord Beerus! B but what is he doing here? Ah, so you know who Beerus is? Yeah! I remember he came to my planet! Well, he's here to see Goku's power. And I must say, this Goku is quite interesting. Goku and Beerus were going at it as Goku went and he began to use more of his corrupted key and he began to overpower Beerus. Beerus saw that Goku was the real deal as when he tried to hit Goku, Goku brushed it off and decked him in his face, getting Beerus to be sent flying. Beerus then tried to do it again but Goku did the same thing as he brushed it off and striked Beerus. Beerus then smiled and said, looks like I'll have to use more power just to end you then. Beerus decided to go and use his full power as his key began to glow.
Alright, Saiyan. Let's see what he can do inside this form. Not bad. Bring it on, Beerus. With that, Beerus went and he rushed right towards Goku as Goku did the same, but the result was different. Beerus went and he struck Goku right in his stomach, and from there he went and punched him across his face. Goku went and he tried to help cut Beerus as he did, but Beerus went and he slammed Goku down with his tail, getting Goku to be sent flying. Goku then rushed right back at Beerus as he tried to kick him, but Beerus managed to go and move out of the way. As he went and he threw a Hakai Blast right towards Goku. Goku went in the blocking position as he managed to block the attack, but it did some damage on Earth. With that, Beerus came right in front of him as he headbutted Goku, getting Goku to be sent flying. Everyone was very amazed with Beerus' power and they were also wondering why he couldn't sense his energy. Since he is a god, only god key user can sense his energy. As Beerus continued to go and overpower Goku, Goku was amazed with Beerus' powers and said, You're way better than Gohan, not bad. I'm glad I met someone very strong, but now let me show you why. I'm the one who inherited Cumber's key. Goku went and he used his full power. Are you ready now, Beerus? It is time I use my full power. Not bad, Saiyan. Before Beerus can finish his work, Goku came right in front of him and striked him, getting Beerus to be sent flying but Goku didn't stop. He rushed at Beerus and he kicked him. Beerus fell to the ground and when he got up, Goku was already there. As Goku went and he started to attack Beerus non-stop, punching him in his face and stomach repeatedly over and over again. Beerus was amazed to see that Goku's power has increased this much, after all he is a corrupted key Saiyan nevertheless, but from there, when Beerus tried to go and space out between him and Goku, Goku wouldn't allow it. As Goku continued to go and overpower Beerus, but now Beerus decided to go and use his full power. As when Goku punched him, he saw Beerus didn't move, and he began to glow. Beerus has now used his Ultra Instinct power. As his energy was off the chart and from there Goku was amazed to see that his punch didn't even phase him, but Beerus went and he kicked Goku and from there he punched him right in his stomach getting Goku to break his ribs. Goku was in pain as he couldn't believe just how powerful and fast Beerus was and before Goku knows it Beerus came right in front of him and he punched Goku, getting Goku to fall to the ground and from there he passed down. As the Majin sign has worn off from Goku's body. Beerus by using his Ultra Instinct power was strong enough to beat Goku, but he was very amazed with Goku's energy, as he couldn't believe that Goku was this strong, and with the right training, Goku can be very strong. Everyone went and they gave Goku a sense of being, as they helped him up and when Goku got up, he was shocked to hear that he has become evil and that he did all of this and from there he was also shocked to see that someone like Beerus was right before him. As Beerus has introduced himself to everyone telling them that he is a destroyer god nevertheless. Upon hearing that got them very shocked as Goku saw that Beerus was able to beat him easily and from there he begged Beerus if he can train him. In return he will give Beerus some nice delicious earth food. At first Beerus had no idea what earth food is but when Goku took him to Bulma's place and fed him, Beerus fell in love with earth's food as he couldn't believe that it was this delicious and from there he decided to give Goku that opportunity to train so he can also become very strong and he can have a worthy opponent. Goku was very excited to finally fight someone this strong and be as strong as Beerus as Vegeta didn't want to be left behind so he also asked Whis if he can train with him. Whis has agreed to do so as they have now left planet earth and they went to Beerus world where they spent about 4 months training with Whis while Beerus went to slumber to sleep for a little bit just for until Goku gets strong enough to get a power stronger than what he had before. Goku did everything he can to make sure he was strong enough to keep up with Beerus' power and from there he has done all the training he needs to get God Key. As both Vegeta and Goku were now able to possess God Key and they were able to now tap into that power. And once when they did, they were amazed to sense just how powerful Beerus was but Goku was confident that he was able to beat Beerus as he was ready for a second round for both of them to fight. With that, Goku wanted to test out his energy as he went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku 
Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan God corrupted form nevertheless. As his energy will skyrocket and from there Beerus woke up from his slumber, sensing just how powerful that was and he smiled and said, <laughs> it looks like he has finally got Super Saiyan God. This Goku I tell ya, I cannot wait to fight him. But Goku felt that he could still get a lot more stronger so he told Beerus to wait just for a few more months as he continued to go and train with Whis and in total they spent about 6.5 months training non-stop with Whis both Goku and Vegeta as they're able to now get beyond god key power and now they're ready to go and have a rematch with Beerus but little did they knew Frieza was now making his way towards planet earth as he's about to arrive any seconds now. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has now gone and he managed to master his Super Saiyan God power along with Vegeta as they spent over 6 months training with Whis but little did they knew. Frieza the tyrant has now made his way towards planet earth. It took Frieza about 6 months to get to where earth was but now he's about to enter that planet and he has something in his mind and that is to go and find out who killed Vegeta and his father and from there he's going to destroy the entire planet and end it once and for all so he could close this chapter and move forward. That's what he imagined but he had no idea that it was Goku who was still alive. When he come back to Beerus' world, Beerus has now woken from his slumber as he saw that Goku and Vegeta were taking a break and from there he looked towards Goku and said, I could see your power has increased a lot Saiyan, wanna go for a round two? <laughs> I'm ready Beerus, let's do it! Alright, bring it on! As both Goku and Beerus stared at one another and with that their battle has begun. Goku went and he charged right towards Beerus as the instantly came right behind him and he kneed him right in his back. Beerus was amazed to see that Goku's speed has increased a lot and before he could make his move, we stopped the battle and said, Goku, Vegeta, there's something you guys need to know. Huh? What's going on Whis? What is it? Frieza is now coming towards your planet as we speak. If anything, he has now arrived. What? Frieza? Uh, no! You gotta be kidding me! Why are you guys so scared of Frieza? Trust me Lord Beerus, if you saw Frieza, I'm afraid that he might be even stronger than you now. Is that so? I have a bone to pick with him, but since he entered you guys' planet, that is not my problem. You guys go deal with him yourself, and then I'll kill him, if you guys fail to do so. Well hurry up Vegeta, we don't got much time, let's go! While Goku and Vegeta are making their way towards planet Earth, Frieza has now arrived. As the Z fighters Piccolo, Gohan, and even Bardock along with Radis and Nappa were able to sense Frieza's energy, and from there, they all made their way towards it. Once when they got there, they saw that Frieza has come out of his spaceship as he was surprised to see that this place was very weak as it had no strong power level until he was able to sense the Z-Force since Frieza is able to now sense power. Frieza then saw Gohan and the rest has arrived as Gohan looked towards him and said, Frieza! What are you doing here? What? Who are you? Why do you look so familiar? It is me! I am Gohan, the one who you spared on the planet. Ah, you're that brat! He sure has gotten a lot bigger, but I'll kill you simply. Now tell me, who was the one that killed my father and Vegeta? I also want to destroy this wretched planet once I kill him. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be surprised when you find out, Frieza. How about you come and fight me? As Gohan went and he used his beast form. With that, Gohan went and he charged right towards Frieza and he striked him in his stomach. Frieza gapped for air as Gohan kicked him in his face, getting him to be sent flying meters away. Frieza then got up and saw that Gohan rushed right towards him as he smiled and from there, Frieza powered up his ki and he headbutted Gohan, showing that he was equally matched with Gohan in his beast form nevertheless. Gohan was impressed with Frieza's power and said, I see someone has been training, huh? You have no idea. I am the strongest in this universe! As Frieza went and he powered up a death beam to kill Gohan, but before he could aim it, 
Goku and Vegeta has not arrived with their instant transmission. As Goku looked towards Frieza and said, Hey Frieza! You have a battle to pick with me now! It's time for me to get my revenge! Huh? G goku But... But how... I killed you on Namek! And Vegeta? Yes, that's right, you bastard! I'm not on your side no more! I joined side with Kakara and the rest of the Earthlings! Ha! So you weakling decided to leave me once and for all, huh, Vegeta? How sad! You were the commander of this army, but now you're going to die! <laughs> I'd like to see what you got! No, Vegeta! This is my battle! Not fair, Kakarot! Shut up! He killed me, you forgot? I have a bone to pick with that. Uh, you're right. Whatever then. Fine. As Goku went right towards Frieza and from there they stared at one another and now their battle has begun. Frieza went and he charged right towards Goku while Goku did the same and both their power clashes one another and they're going at it back and forth. <laughs> Goku went and he kicked Frieza, but Frieza went and kicked Goku back and they were going at it, but from there Frieza smiled and said, Not bad monkey, I see you have also got a lot stronger, how about I go and use just my golden form to kill you? <laughs> Bring it on Frieza. My pleasure. Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. As he's about to go and make his move towards Goku, but Goku sensed just how powerful his golden form was, and from there Goku went and he screamed. You're not the only one who has gotten a lot stronger, Frieza. It's time for you to die. What? Why can I not sense your energy? That is because I have tapped into something called the God Key. That's right, Frieza. I have entered the realm of the God and now I'm able to get their power. Ha! <laughs> There's only one God and that is me. As Frieza rushed right towards Goku and Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another as they were going at it back and forth. <laughs> Goku went and he kicked Frieza in his jaw as he went and he uppercut him but from there Frieza went and powered up a blast to aim it towards Goku but Goku managed to disperse the attack as he came right in front of Frieza and kneed him in his face. Frieza was shocked to see that Goku's power has increased so much that it's even overpowering his golden form and from there he tried to brush Goku off but Goku wouldn't give him any space. Goku continued to go and attack him non-stop as Frieza got really annoyed and from there he decided to go and use his full power as he went and powered up his key and said I see you have gotten a lot stronger monkey how about I go and use my black form again bring it on I've been waiting for you to use that form for a long time Frieza has now yet again used his black form. The form that killed Goku once on Namek is now being reused again. As he looked towards Goku and said, Are you ready to die now, monkey? <laughs> Let's see what you got then, Frieza. Before Goku can react, Frieza came right in front of Goku and he kneed him right in his stomach, getting Goku to gasp for air. After all, Frieza did do a little bit of training since Goku has died, he hasn't stopped and now he's able to show his training to Goku. Goku then tried to go and attack Frieza as he punched him in his face but saw it did nothing. He smiled and said, <laughs> I would expect for you to be the strong Frieza. What do you mean? Are you telling me you're ready to give up now? So I see you're the one who killed my father and everyone else. I'm gonna destroy your planet once and for all. For that you're gonna have to destroy me first. How about I end your life here and now? Let me show you my power. And what power will that be? You will see. Yeah! 
Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, as he's now able to go and transform to his Super Saiyan Blue. This is corrupted Super Saiyan Blue Goku. With that, Frieza was shocked to see Goku's power has emitted a lot, but yet he couldn't sense it as he came right in front of Goku and he punched him, but saw Goku didn't react. Goku then took Frieza's fist and twisted it as he went and kicked Frieza right in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Frieza then tried to stop himself but saw that Goku was already behind him as Goku went and kneed him in his back a few times and he kicked him. Goku then went and uppercut Frieza. Frieza got really angry seeing that Goku was making sports out of him as he powered up his ki to 100% and from there he tried right towards Goku and started to attack him non-stop. But Goku was blocking all of Frieza's attack like if they were nothing. He then retaliated as he decked him across his face and from there he looked towards him and said, You are too weak Frieza. This black form of yours was once strong but now I have my Super Saiyan Blue. Nothing can stop me when I'm using this form. It doesn't make sense. How are you the strong monkey? I am the corrupted Saiyan you forgot. This is my power. As Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza tried to hold it off but he couldn't as the wave went and hit him head on and he died right there. Goku finally got his revenge once and for all as he was able to put down Frieza and kill him and show him who was the stronger one and now he is satisfied that he has got his revenge. While Frieza has died, Beerus has arrived as he missed all the battle but he was also impressed with Goku's Super Saiyan Blue power and from there they all decided to go to Boma's place to eat some food and chill. While that was happening, little did they knew. Future Gohan was in trouble as he was trying to run away from an evil warrior who was chasing after him and with that he used his time machine to come back to the present timeline so he could get help from Goku and the others. Ha! <laughs> run as much as you want Gohan, I'm still gonna end your life here and now. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. A few weeks has passed since Goku has defeated Frieza and he finally got his revenge as his mind was in peace after a very long time since he had nothing but vengeance in his mind. After all, I don't blame Goku. He did get killed by Frieza and in return. He wants to get the favor back by doing the same to Frieza. So with that, Goku decided to go to Whis's world with Beerus and Vegeta along with Bardock and Gohan and they all decide to go and continue their training so they can up their power and as you know it, a few weeks has passed but little did they knew, future Gohan has now arrived to Capsule Corp as his space pod has crash landed and with that his time machine kinda got ruined but from there he was badly hurt due to the fact that he was trying to escape from the evil warrior who was trying to kill him. Boma saw that as she had no idea how to react and with that she quickly went and tried to get a hold of Goku and Vegeta. While on Beerus world, Goku and Beerus were now ready to go and have their rematch as Beerus looked towards him and said, Alright Goku, I don't want you to hold back. Use that power you used to beat Frieza. And I want you to use your Ultra Instinct power that you did against me the first time Beerus. I want to see how strong I am now. You got it. As they're about to go and with that, both Goku and Beerus went and they charged towards one another and before the power can clash, we stopped their battle and said, Hold up Goku, there's a message from Bulma coming from Earth. Huh? What is it now? Ah, uh, apparently she's saying she needs you guys to come back quickly since Gohan from the future has arrived? What? Did you just say the future? Uh, yeah, I mean, not really, it's just like a little way of saying, you know, a good city. God, I can't let Beerus know that Gohan's from the future. Okay, let's go Vegeta. As Goku quickly went and he grabbed Vegeta and he instant transmission right back on planet Earth where he saw that future Gohan was badly hurt but from there Beerus and Whis followed along with Gohan and Bardock. Once when Goku got there, he then gave future Gohan a sensor beam as future Gohan saw Goku and he was a bit scared for a bit because Goku's face resembled a lot like that person who was trying to kill him but from there he realized that it is his own father and he told Goku everything that a warrior who is completely evil and also possesses corrupted ki is trying to kill him and he looks just like Goku. With that Beerus and Whis has now arrived along with Gohan and everyone else. 
future Gohan saw his own self as he was weirded out to see his own self standing there and at the same time Gohan was also weirded out to see the future Gohan standing right before him and before they could do anything everyone saw the skies went dark as a lot of wind pressure increased and with that they saw a hole open from the sky and a warrior has emerged out of the hole. So this is where you came to hide, huh Gohan? Come here and face your fate. Huh? Beerus the Destroyer? What is he doing here? Oh, if it isn't Goku. I see he's also here too. Who are you? And why do you look like me? <laughs> it is obvious. I am you, Goku. Let me see what you got then. Goku, without wasting any time, rushed right to where it's Goku as he striked him across his face and with that he followed with a kick but from there Goku Black managed to brush it out as he returned a kick and with that both of them were going at it back and forth with that Goku Black decided to go and use his corrupted key as he began to power it up and Goku was shocked to see the corrupted key coming from him but before the battle could get serious he got sucked right back into his own timeline Beerus noticed that he had a time ring as he was confused on why he has one and with that he decided to go and do some investigation as he made his way towards Universe 10 to talk with the Supreme Kai known as Goasu since he is in charge of the time ring. Once when he got there they didn't have a talk and from there Zamasu learned that Goku is a mortal who is also a mortal that is stronger than most of the deity and he got really upset and jealous that how can a mortal be this strong. While that was happening Future Gohan and Gohan decide to go and spar with one another as Gohan went and he used his beast form and from there he managed to go and one shot future Gohan. Once when he did he looked towards him and said, I expected you to be more stronger than that, what is up with you future me? <laughs> I'm sorry man, I had a lot on my plate man, my whole life was all about me running away. Well next time I want you to see you get a lot stronger, you're able to achieve the form that I have right here. While they're talking, Goku and Beerus has returned back as Goku decides to go right back to future Gohan's timeline so he can put an end towards this creature that looks just like him once and for all. With that Vegeta insists he wanted to come along with Gohan as they got the time machine ready and from there they have set a course to go right back to future Gohan's timeline. Once when they have arrived, Goku saw this how badly the entire city was destroyed as the entire world has become nothing but darkness. With that he has now landed as he decided to go and call Goku Black but from there Goku Black has already arrived since he was able to sense his power. And with that he said, I see you have finally managed to come here huh Goku, let's dance then. Oh shut up, the only person you're gonna fight is me. As Vegeta went and he used his Super Saiyan Blue power and from there he rushed right towards Goku Black and he striked him but saw it didn't phase him. Goku Black in his base went and he decked Vegeta right across his face getting Vegeta to be sent flying meters away. Goku saw just how serious he is and from there Goku Black smiled and said, let me show you a power that I have. Goku Black has now transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan Rose. What do you think about this power? You can call this corrupted Rose. What? Why is this so different from us? That is because I am a deity inside this body. What do you mean? I am Zamasu. After meeting you that day, I decided to make up my mind to go and steal your body and make it mine. Now let's see what he can do, Goku. Goku then remember who Zamasu is as he got really angry and with that Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue corrupted form as Goku went and he was right towards Goku Black and both their power clash with one another. <laughs> Goku, 
Goku Black went and he striked Goku across his face while Goku went and he punched him in his stomach and they kept this up for some time as both warriors were going back and forth non-stop hitting each other to overpower one another. While they're doing that, Goku realized that this was futile since him and Black are almost equally tied while Goku Black had a power up his sleeve and from there he went and he used more of his energy as he saw that this divine energy that he's using is far different from what he is using himself and with that Goku Black managed to go and strike Goku across his face but Jiren Gohan saw that someone has also arrived as it was no one other than Zamasu and from there he wanted to go and help Goku Black but Gohan went and he used his beast form and he began to beat the shit out of Zamasu as Vegeta and Gohan managed to go and take him out while Goku and Goku Black were going head to head and with that Black smiled and said you are too weak compared to me Goku I guess this corrupted key responds better to someone who is a deity <sighs> I'll make sure I end your life once and for all Black no matter what ha <laughs> you can try but the result will still be the same with that, Goku Black went and he powered up to another form as he began to smile and he unleashed a new transformation. What do you think about this? You can call this Rose Evolution. Goku Black has now used a form beyond his Super Saiyan Blue as he got Rose Evolution and with that, he easily went and he beat the shit out of Goku. But Jiren and Gohan saw that as he came to aid Goku but from there, Goku Black went and he strike both of them down as they didn't stood a chance against him. Goku got up as he decided to go and use his Kaioken with his Super Saiyan Blue for the very first time as everyone was shocked to see what kind of power Goku was using. Okay then, how about you come and fight me in this form? Goku went and he rushed right towards Black as he tried to strike him but from there Black caught his fist and he twisted it and from there he striked Goku back. Goku then tried to go and uppercut Black as he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards him but Black managed to go dodge it despite the fact that Goku has used his Kaioken with his Super Saiyan Blue corrupted form it still wasn't enough to beat Black inside his Rose evolution. After all, he is a deity. With that, Black went and he took out a scythe as he managed to go and cut Gohan down. Seeing that Gohan has died right in front of Goku got him really upset and emotional as Goku couldn't believe that Gohan was down for the count and from there he went towards Gohan as he tried to revive him. Vegeta was shocked to see that while Black laughed and said, You are going to be next Goku. It is time you die. Black went and he powered up a massive blast strong enough to kill Goku and Vegeta as he aimed a blast right towards him but from there Goku went right back to his base as he closed his eyes and next you know Goku begun to glow. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. What the? What the hell is this? What kind of power are you just using? And why are you glowing so much? Black couldn't see the power that Goku was using as he got angry and with that he went and he shined that blast right towards Goku but before it could hit him, the blast got dispersed as Goku has now finally revealed the power he was using. Goku has now finally done it as he was able to now tap into the power called the Ultra Instinct. After seeing Beerus use his power against him in his battle, and training with weeds, Goku was now able to finally use the same power. With that, Black was really confused as he went and shined a blast right towards Goku but he instantly dodged the attack as he reappeared right before him. Goku then looked towards his powers and said, Wow, 
So I'm finally able to use the same power as Beerus, huh? I guess this is called the Ultra Instinct. Black, without wasting any time, rushed right towards Goku as he tried to strike him but Goku dodged it and with that he kicked Black right in his face, getting to be sent flying towards the ground. Once when Black got up, Goku was already there as Goku went and picked him up and threw him high in the air. Black stopped himself and said, What the hell are you? What kind of power you're using? This is just my Ultra Instinct. It is time to put an end towards this once and for all, Black. Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave. I was getting ready to aim it right towards Black, but Black continued to go and throw a lot of attacks towards Goku, but he dodged instantly all of those attacks as he reappeared right in front of Black and unleashed a wave, getting to get hit head on, and he died right there. Goku has finally done it by using his Ultra Instinct power, he managed to go and overpower Rose Evolution. As Goku managed to go and put him down once and for all with his blast, and he ended his life right there. Gohan and Vegeta were very shocked on seeing the power that Goku has used as Goku reverted right back to his base and with that, they went right back to their own timeline. Goku has now saved the timeline as he managed to put an end towards Black and from there, he told future Gohan that he can stay with them inside this timeline since pretty much he has no one there. Future Gohan decided to go and take on that offer as he decided to go and stay with Goku and with that, Gohan wanted to make Future Gohan his sparring partner and help him to achieve the same power as he has, which is his beast form. Whis and Beers were also very shocked to hear that Goku has finally used the Ultra Instinct power since Vegeta described the power that Goku has used, and with that, Beerus was ready to go and have a rematch with Goku. Goku looked towards him and said, <laughs> Sit down Beerus, you know I'll beat you easily now. Now that I have the same power as you, I'm far stronger than you. Is that so, Saiyan? Then how about we put that to the test? Before they could do anything, Goku's body began to hurt since it was his very first time using this power. And from there they decided to go and rest a bit as Goku spent some time with his family and the next day he went right back to Beer's world, continued to train with Whis so he could utilize this power. And while training with that, Whis got an order from Dai Shinken telling him that Lord Zeno has done a summit and he wants all the angels to come to his world. Whis then told everyone that he'd be right back, as he went right towards Zeno's world where he met the king of everything and from there, Zeno told everyone that he wants to hold something called a tournament of power and he wants to see all the universe fight inside this tournament since he feels like there's too many universes out there and that the losing one will get their universe saved while the rest will be erased. Upon hearing that got all the gods and angels very scared as they had no idea why Zeno's trying to do this idea. And from there, Zeno wanted to hold the tournament power in the next few weeks, as everyone has only few weeks to prepare for the tournament. Inside this timeline, unlike the other one, Goku has not met with Lord Zeno, and therefore, they are not friends with one another. As Whis and Beerus has returned right back to the world, and they saw that Goku and Vegeta and Gohan were training, and with that, future Gohan has also entered the training area with them, as Beerus decided to go and tell everyone what they have heard. Upon hearing that the tournament power is going to start and that the losing team will get erased, got all the z fires to be very serious as they all decide to go and do everything they can to make sure they win the tournament power, while Goku was responsible to go and gather up all the fighters that they need so they can be ready for the tournament. Goku has begun doing some recruiting for his fighters as he begun to go and sense fighters outside of the universe and since he is born with corrupted ki, it gave him the power to have better senses and with that, he was able to pick up a very large power coming from a remote planet. Goku went and he instant transmission to that planet and he saw it was no one other than Broly and his father. Upon seeing Broly, Goku could sense that his power is amazing but he was very shocked to learn that Broly is a Saiyan but nevertheless a legendary Super Saiyan. Without having any fight with Broly, Goku managed to go and convince Broly and his father to come live with them on Earth and return. Brawly would have to participate inside the Tournament of Power. Paragus agreed to that term along with Brawly as Goku went and brought them back to Earth and with that Vegeta was very shocked to see that a Saiyan still exists in this universe. With that, it was time for the Tournament of Power to begin as Whis told Daishinga that they're ready to enter the tournament and from there, everyone has transported to the Tournament of Power. The fighters for Universe 10 are Krillin, Nappa, Radis, Piccolo, Bardock, Future Gohan, Vegeta, Gohan, Broly, and Goku.
as everyone has not arrived to the tournament power and with that, they saw all the fighters that were there as they were excited to begin the battle and from there, their one and only goal was to make sure they are the last one to be standing. With that, Daishigen came and told everyone the rules about the tournament power and now the battle has begun. Everyone went and they spread out while Goku looked around to see who was a strong fighter that will come to fight him. A lot of fighters tried to hit Goku but all he did was use his corrupted key and he managed to blow them out of the arena. With that, Broly continued to go and display his power as no one has seen his power before and he began to go and power up an attack to wipe out one of the fighters from Universe 11 but he got kicked in the face by no one other than Jiren. Once when Broly saw Jiren, Broly got angry as Jiren and Broly's battle has now begun. Broly went and he charged right towards Jiren and he tried to hit him but Jiren decked him in his face getting Broly to be sent flying towards the rocks. Once when Broly got up he got really angry as he let go and from there he went and transformed into his Super Saiyan. Upon using his Super Saiyan power, everyone was shocked to see how strong Broly is but Jiren wasn't phased by it as Broly continued to go and have a lot of anger within him and he began to lose his mind as he rushed right towards Jiren and started to hit him with everything he's got. Jiren dodged all his attack as Jiren took Broly's hand and he twisted it and kicked him across his face. Broly got sent flying towards the rocks and when Broly got up, Jiren went and he powered up his key as he began to go and use more key and with that, Broly decided to go all out as he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan for the very first time. As Goku was shocked to see just how strong Broly was and he was observing the battle between Broly and Jiren. Broly went and began attacking Jiren with everything he's got while Jiren went and he used his key to 100%. <laughs> Okay then, looks like I'll have to go use this battle a little more serious then. Broly with rage went and tried to hit Jaren but he dodged it as he decked Broly in his face and from there Jaren began to go and attack him. Goku saw that Universe 3 has done a fusion as they have all fused to become one and they have become Analaza. As Analaza went and he used his massive power and he began eliminating most of the fighters that were there until Goku went and he powered up to his Super Saiyan 3 corrupted form nevertheless and it was enough to get Analaza to be sent flying out of the arena. Everyone saw just how powerful Goku was as he was a real deal since he is born with the corrupted key, he was using his power to its fullest. Goku then reverted right back to his base as he continued to observe the fight with Broly and Jiren while Broly went and took Jiren by his face and he tried to smash it but Jiren went and twisted Broly's arm and he broke it as he kicked him in his face and he powered up a blast and said, it's over. As Jaren blew the blast right towards Broly and it got him to be sent flying out of the arena. With that, Jaren felt like he won but before anything could happen, he got kicked in the face by no one other than Ultra Instinct Goku. You're still fighting with me. Now let's see what you got then, Jaren. Bring it on! As Jaren powered up his key and with that, he went and he rushed right towards Goku. As he tried to hit him but Goku instantly dodged all of Jaren's attack and with that Goku was simply making sports out of Jaren. As he began to overpower him big time and he began to beat the shit out of him. Before Jaren can react, he tried to hit Goku but he saw that none of his hit was hitting Goku so he got really angry as Jaren went and he screamed. Jaren has now used his limit breaker as he got really angry with Goku's power and said I don't care what you are, I'm the one that's gonna win this tournament. <laughs> Bring it on then, 
I could sense your power is amazing, but it's still not close to mine. Jiren went and he rushed right towards Goku. As he began to hit him, but Goku was still dodging all of his attack like if there were nothing. While everyone's busy fighting, everyone then saw that one of the angel from Universe 3 got sent flying right towards the arena as he passed out. With that, they all stopped their battle as they're wondering what the hell happened, and from there Daishikin looked towards the left and said, Who are you guys? And how'd you manage to come here? Huh? What is going on? It is time we put an end towards all of this once and for all. What do you say? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. What the? Who are you? And what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here to capture the Omni King and finally kill him. Over my dead body, there's nothing you're gonna do against my Omni King. What the? Who are you? Well then. How about I use my true power and end you all once and for all? With that heart begun to glow, as everyone saw he has now gone and used the Universe Seed. With this power, I call it the Omni King Slayer. I have finally achieved it and now Killing Zemna will be very easy for me. Oh, you wish! As Goku went and he charged right towards Heart, but he missed. As Heart instantly dodged Goku, and from there he went and captured Zeno. All the angels saw that, as he got ready to fight, but with that, he went and took Zeno and he threw Zeno away. As he got Zeno to be sent flying towards a new universe, and it was towards his own planet called Planet Prison. I'll deal with him later. Let me kill everyone here first. Oh, you wish! How about you fight me now? Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now gone and he mastered his Ultra Instinct. As he has now used his Master Ultra Instinct power and he's ready to put the end towards Heart once and for all. With that, Heart was shocked to see Goku's new power, as Goku went and he rushed right towards Heart and he kicked him in his face, getting Heart to be sent flying meters away. Heart then got up as he went and tried to attack Goku, but Goku began to dodge all of his attack. Despite using the Universe Seed, Goku using his corrupted Master Ultra Instinct power was something to watch for, as he continued to dodge all of Heart's attack and said, Now tell me where'd you put the Omni King? I'll never tell you. I'm only toying with you. <laughs> Likewise, Goku decided to go kick it up a notch as he went and he kicked Heart across his face, punched him in his gut, and he uppercut him, getting to be sent flying high in the air. Goku then followed as he striked him in his back as Heart fell right towards the ground. Goku then came but saw that that was a decoy as a real Heart appeared and he punched Goku right in his stomach, getting Goku to gaps for air and with that he went and kicked him. Jared and everyone else had no idea what was going on, but they decided to go and step up since the Omni King is in trouble and with that, they all rushed into the battle but from there, Fu went and he threw all them as he tried to hold him off but Jaren went and strike Fu across his face and he began to attack him. Heart was amazed to see Goku's new Master Ultra Instinct power but before anything can happen, they all heard a voice. Come on, you're supposed to end these pit squeaks so easily but yet here you are struggling. What the? That voice. My plan worked just as I thought. The Super Dragon Balls has been used and he is back. What? As they all saw. <laughs> it's been a while, Goku. I'm glad you're here and I'm amazed to see how powerful you have become. This is my plan the entire time. What the? What the hell are you talking about? I swear I killed you! Heh, <laughs> you thought you did. I let you think that you slayed me, only so I could use you. 
you're a pawn to my game, Goku. And you did exactly what I wanted. I needed you to get a lot stronger, and now I'll be taking back what's mine, along with your key. <laughs> you wish! As Goku went and he charged right towards Cumber and he punched him across his face, but saw Cumber didn't even flinch. As Cumber went and headbutted Goku, but Goku didn't flinch either, and with that, both of them were going back and forth as a power clash with one another. Heart, in the other hand, was trying to go in and help Cumber, but from there, Vegeta came along with Jiren and Broly, and they all began to attack Heart and Fu as they were taking care of them while Cumber and Goku were going at it. Tell me, why would you do this? Why did you tell me to take your power and end up betraying everyone? <laughs> I was never on your side. I was always for the side to kill the Omni King and to get stronger. And now that I'm able to take your power, I am going to finally achieve the power that no one has ever done before. What do you mean? Before Goku can say anything, Cumber came right in front of him as he went and stabbed Goku right in his stomach and he began to absorb all of Goku's key. Or you could say it was his key that he gave to Goku earlier before he died and with that, he managed to go and take all of Goku's power as Goku was weak and from there, he fell to the ground. Krillin went and he threw Goku a sense of being as Goku ate it and he recovered from his wound but saw that Cumber went and he began to glow as he has now transformed. Now that I have this power, this is the true power of a corrupted Saiyan. Let's see what you got then, Goku. Are you ready to bow your knees towards me and the rest of you angels? Over my dead body. But that, Goku got up as he saw that Daishinken went and he f came right in front of Cumber and striked him but saw Cumber managed to dodge his attack as Cumber smiled and said, Looks like the shorty is really strong. You have no idea. Daishinken went and kicked him. Goku powered up his key to full as he charged right towards Cumber and when he punched him, Cumber did not react or flinch. Seeing that his punch did nothing to Cumber, Cumber smiled and said, Ah, what's the matter? Is that all the power you got, Goku? Here, I thought that you'll do something better than this. Cumber went and kicked Goku right in his guts, getting him to gasp for air and from there he punched him in his face. Dai Shiken continued to go and attack Cumber, but he saw that his attack did nothing. Goku fell to the ground as he got up and he began to smile and from there he began remembering all of his training and said <laughs> You know I had a gut feeling that something like this would happen I don't know why but I always been told to follow my gut feeling and That's the reason why I got my potential unlocked by the old Kai and having the corrupted Saiyan unlock their potential I was able to achieve a new power cumber I was afraid that you might take it from me but you didn't what the hell are you narcissing about? I knew the moment when I took your key. I did not sense your power disappearing. Instead, it was very low. I knew right there that you might still be alive. And later on, I had a gut feeling when I couldn't sense your energy that you're plotting something. And that is when I began to go and continue my training and get a new power. <laughs> you're bluffing. You got no new power. If you did, I would have been mine. That's what you think. How about I show you? The power of a true corrupted Saiyan! After unlocking his potential from the old Kai, was able to achieve a new power before the turn of power has begun, which he had up his sleeve, but now it was time to use it. This is Goku's true, corrupted Saiyan form. What do you think, Cumber? You still think you got the power to beat me? If so, I'll have to see you try. What? How does he have such power? I swear I stole it all! With that, Heart came and he tried to attack Goku, but Goku went, took him by his neck and he threw him right towards the ground, getting Hearts to be one shot and he threw a blast right towards him and he died right there. Seeing that Goku easily one shot at Heart got Cumber to worry as Goku looked towards him and said, Don't worry, this is just the beginning of my power. 
You're up for it? Goku instantly came right in front of Cumber as he punched him and with that Cumber managed to go and dodge it but Goku went and slashed an air attack but that wasn't no ordinary air attack that was Goku coming in super speed as he ended up punching Cumber over 10 times getting Cumber to fall straight towards the ground everyone was very shocked along with Dai Shinken as he couldn't believe the power that Goku was using while Goku looked towards him and said what's the matter Cumber had enough or you still want more <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna lose to a weakling like you! Cumber powered up his keep as he rushed right towards Goku and Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another. The entire tournament was shaking as everyone couldn't believe what they were witnessing, a battle between Goku and Cumber. While Zeno was still captured and the only way to free him was by killing everyone that was there. Goku already managed to put down Heart while the Z Fires continued to go and attack Fu and with that they managed to beat him. Cumber went and he tried to attack Goku but Goku let him hit him as he saw that his attack did nothing. With that he went and powered up a massive blast and aimed it towards Goku. But Goku stood still as the blast came and all Goku did was use his finger and he managed to throw the attack away as the blast got dispersed. Seeing that got Cumber to sweat as he said, There's no way you could do this to me! How are you this strong? You fool! I told you before, this is my true power of a corrupted Saiyan! What you had, you never mastered it, because you are too arrogant thinking that you're this strong, while I went and mastered this power, and now, this is the true power of a corrupted Saiyan! It's over, Cumber! Goku went and rushed right towards Cumber as he kneed him in his face and with that he punched him in his jaw and he started to beat the shit out of Cumber. Cumber was shocked to see that Goku's power was this strong as he was weak to do nothing towards Goku and with that Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Cumber as that wave was powerful enough to finally kill him once and for all. Goku with his new power after getting his potential unlocked before the tournament of power was enough to put down Cumber as he has proved to the multiverse that he is the true corrupted Saiyan nevertheless and his power has proved to be the strongest in the multiverse as Goku managed to go and save the day yet again. With that Zeno broke free as he came right back and he was really happy that Goku managed to go and save everyone and he couldn't stop thanking Goku. Dai Shinken was also very impressed and with that they called the tenor power to be a draw as all the universe get to live and from there Goku and the rest of the Z Fires went right back to their home as they continued to live their life in peace. And as you know it, a few months has passed. As Goku continued to train and continued being stronger, he got the news from Supreme Kai that an evil wizard escaped his jail cell. And before Moro could do anything, Goku has already instant transmission to Namek where he saw that Moro was trying to gather Dragon Balls. And with that, Goku went and he used his final form yet again and he managed to put down Moro easily as no villain came close to Goku's power and he continued to do everything he can to do one thing that he has been doing from the start and that is to save the universe from any evil. This is what I believe what would have happened if Goku was born with Cumbers Key. Thank you very much for watching and supporting this series. I hope you guys liked it and if you did like it give me a like for this video so it shows me that you guys appreciate my hard work and that you guys want more of this then click the bell to so be the first thing when the next episode comes out. If you haven't already Please join my Discord server, the link in the description below, and please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers as he makes a lot of awesome what if based on Vegeta. I'm Goku T23, and as always, my Z fans, have an insane day.